we never really officially came up with a name for this. No, we didn't because your ass was bent us in the first place. <laughs> yeah, so now we're <laughs> stuck doing this fucking show instead. Listen, because we're suspended for us. fucking almost two years. <laughs> what what the, the fuck <laughs> were you thinking? I didn't think. Why the fuck did I get suspended? Because you talked <laughs> also, too. You like, I was supposed to talk! <laughs> you cut yourself off. <laughs> Mitch, you were thinking about something. We have to do an off. entirely separate fucking show because you leave of all fucking people, Steve, who's in fucking Bridgewater, in charge of the it's goddamn like, show. soon to be in New Orleans, Louisiana. Yes! <laughs> So also, the fuck is he gonna let us back on the channel on video? He no computer, no nothing to even record it. No, he has a phone and he just too lazy to sign into the fucking YouTube page, even though we gave him a password, yeah. I actually didn't give him a password. I gave it to him and he still won't do it. Because he finds just hilarious. <laughs> he should find it hilarious. Listen, John and Steve can come right to this room and do the show themselves. Nothing to start a fucking lawyer. But we found a little bit speaking without a major any person. Exactly. I agree. Listen, so. you cut him off, so if you're suspended. Yeah, that I, makes sense. He's suspended yeah. in a way. But me? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't fucking I was supposed to talk you about not, the fucking shit. That I forgot to, I don't even remember what the thing I was forgot to, I forgot to mention a war. Then if you don't watch WrestleMania, you're suspended as well. Being, oh fuck you. That's been discussed. Oh too. fuck off. So <laughs> Oh, that's why that's why you submit me because I'm not gonna watch it live, and I'm gonna pick and choose my match. I, I, I damn sure I'm demanding the tourney now. I'll be CM Punk in this bitch. I'll do that. I'm not gonna watch we'll that bullshit. Ruins WrestleMania, but I'm just gonna watch pick and choose the Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because I'm, I'm a little bitch. bitch. And, you, and you know what? I am totally fucking okay with being a little bitch if that means I'm a little bit happy. Oh man! Like, yeah! I can't. Well, I can't believe he's disrespecting us right to our. The one thing we can agree on. Is that I overused my power on the last episode. Yes, that was no, you did. Yes, you fucking did. I uh, didn't think anyone was going to cut each other off. I thought that would have scared everybody into thinking. But apparently, I, I didn't even say anything. No, no, I don't even say. Well, Chris did cut me off, but then when I finally did get going, because I never officially went going yet, he did cut me off, but it was to add to my point anyway. So it's not like he cut me off. <laughs> Stop shit. <laughs> <laughs> And you still suspect him! It was still a, he still cut you off. I still I you, still was cut. You were cut off. So now it's what been two weeks now of our suspension? It's been 14 almost days. Miserable. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I mean now we can't do the show anymore. We have to do this show now. Do this fucking shit. Nobody I mean, hosts it. Nobody do what the fuck you want. Really. So yeah, I have a name. We'll call it the fucking ramble. What is it? That's soy ramble hour. How about that? Rambling hour. Ramble wrestling. Or wrestling ramble. Wrestling, ramble. Wrestling, wrestling talk show. Ramble. Wrestling ramble hour. There you fucking go. Wrestling, wrestling talk show ramble hour. Aftershock. Not really corny. Oh, that's that's so Steve doesn't have to physically do the show. We just have to put us back on camera. So we yeah. can just come right here right now and put us back. So. Or we could just go, or here's a better idea for the wrestling round table. Is that an idea? Oh, the pro wrestling round table, also, also. Oh yeah. shit, I didn't even do it. actually. <laughs> I mean, well, I actually, no, Logan owns that. Yeah, you remember that? I, know, so, yeah, I, saw, started I saw that the other day. I, I almost, yeah, yeah, I gave him permission. I almost laughed that. my ass off. Yeah, no, that. That, that was me. I was supposed to be on there, but then I got fucking sick of some fire. No, I was supposed to be on that show, and then I got fucking sick, and I couldn't make it. I'm pissed. I was so mad at But anyhow. Steve literally can either just film a random video at his house on his phone and just say, yeah, by the Jake, way, Owen, is jangle. Owen, Chris, James, you're brought back. He doesn't even have to win all what of if, us. What if he sends us the wrong videos of him just jerking his jangle? Jangle. He's, jangle. Got, he's got problems. Why does he have that recorded in his way? Yeah, no, that, he's then Owen, no, the that, that, that's called the intervention. And then, we, and then Owen yeah. has to kind of overrule him because it's still his channel. Technically speaking, he still owns the Wrestling 1444 channel, so if he posts his dick online, then he has to suspend him from the channel. <laughs> Therefore, either two things are going to happen. One, we have no show. And this dick's coming. And this dick's all over. We have to create a new one. This is basically what's going to happen. This is the channel of dicks. No, we, we'll have a show. Of dicks. No, we'll have all a show. All of our Steve Coakley's dick. <laughs> no, we'll have a show. It would just be a suspension has to just be up. We have to wait until then I uh, was suspended up. Oh uh, yeah, two fucking years, great. No, it's not two years. Why don't you just leave it up to fucking Sean? At least he has a laptop. <laughs> um, 
because he's not on the show. Right, he's not on the show right now. Complications. Okay, okay so all right, guys. So Steve. Steve. Okay, Steve yeah. Steve the but I also have to say one more thing. Technically, Steve doesn't have to point us all back at the same time. Don't be Johnny Curl. <laughs> what, if, what if he just drop us back like one month at a time? No, but he, <laughs> he, could, he could even extend Hey, I'll take a three month break, save me less. <laughs> no, he can, uh, he can take it extended. He can he can make our suspension longer. He can make it shorter. He doesn't have to bring James back. He can only bring us back. He doesn't even have to bring me back. He can only bring you guys back. He can only bring you back. Only one of us back. It's technically the average of our corners that you can see. Yeah, we can still make videos on the channel. Yeah, we can still, we can still make videos on the channel. It's not wrestling 444 suspension. It's yeah. a aftershock corner suspension. Now video aftershock back to our wrestling corner. Just so that way suspension. That just because so it's the one way way right right now. Well, we could have just named the show after your channel and be honest with you. Wrestling the, Fortune 40. The Wrestling Fortune 44 hour. Wrestling Fortune 44. Wrestling Fortune 44 hour. Rambling succession succession. Or succession succession thing. So obviously we missed one. So obviously wrestling court your forty four seconds. So obviously we missed one. Right, 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 right. So should we do we're not doing introductions because we basically no. know like yeah. well, I don't choose those names anymore. Yeah. Well, no, I, I can use my regular name. I can use Which is in fact James Heber. But you yeah. And you could use your name, which is Owen Finch. Owen Finch. And then you could use your name, which is now Andy McDonald. Which has not been used. Have Harold Goodwin. Sure. What's your name? Oodwin. Harold Goodwin. But anyhow, uh, we so missed last week because we, we, we would meet him with our boy. He was he would be Harold Goodwin. Harold Goodwin again. Goodwin. <laughs> It's Harold Ooh. It's Harold Ooh. It's going to change every second. Yeah. I am a German. But anyhow, uh, we missed last week because we had to meet with our lawyers and stuff to, to look over the suspension and see if we could find a loophole. I'm a man. We had, to see if we, could, we had to see if we could find a loophole out of this suspension. So he could be the man for Owen Finch. Technically, um, he can't be. Technically, he can't be the Birdman Owen Finch. Technically, he can't be. Because on the show, on the other show was Owen, the name we can't say, Finch. But he can call himself the Birdman. Or oh, he Finch. becomes the Because that's Birdman. WYW property. No, text man, 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 I man, give who, that permission, man so. who loves birds. Yeah. You can call yourself the franchise and I can call myself. Wait, I just realized something. James Archangel. Who did I suspend? James like, Archangel. I who did I suspend? To there you go. Like a Chris Todd or Chris Todd from the after shot? Oh, I could Chris Todd. I'm James Archangel. That's fine. Actually, it's Chris Todd who was suspended. Wait a minute. That means yeah, so you think of it. I can actually use my actual name. Yeah. Yeah. So, Harold, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Get the fuck out of here. You're not allowed to be here anymore. Chris Todd. I can just be me. And he technically would also be the Birdman Owen Finch because his on the other show was Owen the uh, yeah. name you can't say Finch. But obviously, let's get, let's just get to business. Owen the other you can't say that name. Oh, when you can't see me. What bitch. business do we have? Oh yeah, I'm wrong. Oh, when you can't see me. Because we were, we, we can talk about what the stuff. fuck we want. Actually, yeah. technically, because this is technically the rambling, not our, because this is probably two. <laughs> rambling, rambling hour times the uh, rambling hour square. Now, ram yeah. rambling talk cubed. <laughs> the ra the rambling talk cubed. Whatever, whatever it is. I don't floor. see no wall, actually. I feel like we're going to keep half the time. No, we have the time. If you get rid of that random indentation, yeah, it's yeah. like a. We, we feel, I feel but like anyhow, we missed, we missed last week because. Uh, Suspension. I mean, we, are, we were looking over the papers this year. We could, uh, we, we we're trying to find a loophole towards the suspension. And why it took us two weeks? It's because we didn't really look over the whole two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah was, we, uh, we weren't working on it. Yeah. Sorry. I was no, working on my show. I'm not sorry, actually. I was uh, working on live reactions and naps. We were before. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he's working on the naps. Dude, dude, you got it. You did. All right. You all right. Let's talk about this. Why do you do so many live reactions? I swear to God. I said because I said on recording that every show going into Takeover and WrestleMania, I would do live reactions every week. I think you yeah, you had to cut out Bruce Pan. Yeah, I am. Was you technically counted New Japan in there? You had to just said that. No, it was just that we, it was only WWE show. I think we can talk about what the fuck we want to talk about. 
and then that's technically it's my top. And then after, and then on the show, on the week after WrestleMania, I'll pick and choose what my life be. It'll go back to the old format. Fair enough. We were talking about uh, Man, as you were earlier, and New Japan, and New Japan. And who's excited? Supercard of Honor. Let's face it. Hey. I'm really intrigued. There's a lot of yes. there's gonna be a lot of great matches on that card. What's your dog gonna feel? Like you know what really blows what? my mind? What was going on with being the elite and the fact that Flip Gordon is teaming with the Unbox? Oh my god, it's great. Fucking incredible. Flip they Gordon. they now like Flip Gordon. Cody still hates Flip Gordon. He's an elite. He's an elite. Once the vote club officially breaks up. They have elite. they have to break up. Like they have or, to I Cody has to run the elite. This is actually where Kenny Omega has to run the elite. That's this, is, this, this is how it's gotta go. Intriguing to me. But all in. I can I, I was reading the comments and I saw this. Um, on New Japan's because they're they're having another pay per view soon. New um, Japan. It's not Dominion. It's uh it's, it's uh soon. I forget the name of it now. Blank on it, but it's Cody versus Ibushi and Kenny versus Hangman Page. Mm. And I was reading the comments, and one said, "What if this? What if Cody gets kicked out of the Bullet Club in Owen in September in Chicago?" That'd be interesting since he said since he said that go. He's trying to break up the Bullet Club. If you think of it, they kick him out, the Kansas has the Bullet Club. Just saying. I'm Team Kenny. Yeah, but at, at the same time, I'm though, when you Kenny, want, what do you like want? To, Cody likes to say that WWE doesn't sabotage people's careers when that's not the case. Cody it's loses a lot. Yeah. He loses a lot of credit yeah. after that. Yeah. He's this whole story, like they, the the most recent episode of Being the Elite. Cody tried to change the logo to a picture that of him. Was fucking I, <laughs> I didn't say that. That was great. See, the has, thing is too. He has the fucking hair covering up the word club. It's, so it's fucking fantastic. It's fantastic. But it's at great. the end, they showed at the the beginning part's kind of goofy, but then at the end, it kind of gets a little bit, a little like serious. Oh, with a little serious. With you know Nick Nick Jackson the whole time has been against Cody for the past couple of, for a while a little bit. Now. Yeah. But Matt isn't. At the end, they show them in their hotel room talking about, you know, we might have to kick him out. Because he's trying to break them up, too. See, if you if you watch Being the Elite, like I've watched Being the Elite for, I haven't watched it for a whole long time, but I've watched it since like the fall. Yeah. Uh, it's like a progression. All the yeah, matches, yeah, all yeah. the matches that have like super Being the Elite, the it's, Cody it's Kenny really match has been built up. Since, um, I don't want to say December. They're basically, they're basically like December. They're basically because they were, really, like, they were showing flashbacks. flashbacks. Like, Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson would do like the Undertaker thing where their yeah. eyes would roll the back of the head. And they would show, it would show, uh, show Ian Riccoboni and Cole Cabana at commentary. Like, yes. But it would cut and them then, off before they could, and then he goes, whoa, like what, what's happening to me? And that led up to what eventually was announced as Cody Mrs. Kenny too crowd of honor. And then obviously and uh, New Orleans. But also starting like the New Japan was when Cody no sorry, when Cody was like gonna at New York Gas in Dakota Abushi and Kenny Omega came out and stopped up. Yeah, that's yeah, how Roman started uniting the Golden Lovers baby. I mean it, it was it was they were teasing it before, but yeah. it was really it really, really took off. off. At New Year's Day. It really took off. Yeah, when Cody legit. crossroad Kenny. That's yeah, it really like, it, it, legitimately. And that fucking promo code, Cody did cut was also like, oh man, I hate that. Like, that was actually really good. When, he was, when Kenny was the bear. He says he, call, he called me a reject for not succeeding in the big leagues when he was a reject for not even making past the double medal or whatever. I'm like, oh, fuck you, dude. Yeah. Uh, and, and he, he was doing actually game. fun fact. Kenny Omega was actually funny. Really though, funny. Here, here's the funny thing. I, I, th I think what Cody and Kenny and what all these guys are doing is something that WWE has not been able to do, especially the writing staff for fucking years. And that's book long term story. It's long. not even short term. Legit. Okay, it's that. And, and that's what fucking. Wait a minute. But they have, WWE been. has been able to book long term stuff. They have. Been. Brock Lesnar is WWE champion. Yeah, been champion. Champion. Well, yeah. Well, well, fair enough. Yeah. Universal champion. Yeah. Kevin Owens. No, I'm Chris saying. Yeah, I'm, but what I'm saying Seth is that with the Triple H. Like, it's not one. I'm. I'm talking about like a storyline that you know that everyone that watches it can get invested into. Like this is like something. Oh wow, this is happening. This, this is, happening. is just a certain, this certain section. This is a certain section. It's like everything's a piece of a, a piece of the puzzle to like the grand finale. It's not even is, New Japan's writing staff. It's it's 
The Bullet Club. This is the yeah. Bullet Club. This story. is the full on Bullet Club, like writing all this and everything. Like they are They're showing that the they movie. can be trusted with long term storylines. Which is like, I get excited. frustrates me, Cody, because you were like, oh, WWE never holds me back. But you're showing them that you can write a better storyline than these motherfuckers do. Every time Monday comes around, I get excited to watch the because I know something's gonna, it's gonna be highly interesting. Yeah, if you do now, to so the newest episode of Wrestlemania, you have to watch the newest episode of Wrestlemania after Wrestlemania. Well, actually, it's, no, it's gonna show, we think this is kind of honest. Huh? In everything that happens yeah. that we yeah. Yeah. from Wrestlemania, yeah. yeah. ROH and New Japan, yeah. 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 Um, it was a he had a championship match. The, uh, wasn't he on uh, Mania 30? He was in his way. He yeah, he was in the Battle Royal. Which means nothing now because... Uh, there was something in 29, I feel like. No, he was, his match was cut up from 29. Right. So the, yeah, so, uh, yeah, but he okay, did have bad, featured he matches, bad. but yeah, they, they stopped at the 29. They card, they, the newspaper card is so stacked, the super card, that neither the one matches are on the show. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel Kelly like Glenn, bad, actually. Giovanni, I feel, I feel kind of bad, because they've been, they've been killing it, though. And Tanili Dashwood is on the That fucking Women of Honor tournament has been fucking killing it. Cody and Kenny. Yeah. I'll go through the card. I want you to give me a thought on Cody and Kenny. Great. I can't, I can't wait. I'm so excited to see what happens. Like, uh, I, I don't even care. Like at the end of the day, yeah. At the end, it's gonna be. I, I did. But I, like everyone's like, well, well, yeah, but you were like talking about how Cody Rhodes is like, you know. Look, at the end of the day, yeah, I have my fucking issues with what he said. Doesn't mean I don't enjoy the character. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't yeah. enjoy what Kenny he's does. such a good. I'm gonna fucking though. enjoy the match. You know, Cody is such a good heat magnet. I mean, he is. <laughs> he's such part a good of, part good. of me wonders if like right, he got into the shit with OTRS just pissed. Like he's trying to do this whole hypocrisy thing to like add to the character. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. That's what I think. Because he because it's like it, it, it feels like I Cody feel like Cody's the, not that stupid. No, he's not. Cody's a Cody's, Cody's a real life person. He's a legit cool dude. Yeah. He's he's a, really I know. Nice. I know he is. I know he is. Like, what when I, I, I said, I don't think he expected all He actually react. He actually broke right. character. Yes. When they were attacking Kenny, and he actually backed up Kenny. Keep in keep in mind, right? I think that was Cody was was the whole OTR is central in the Cody feud, right? This is what I think happened. I think Cody was saying this stuff because I think genuinely, if you, if you watch the promo with Kenny, he's been doing that to try to get under his skin. Oh, I made it to the big time. You never yeah. did, and all that shit. Or I or think that's simple, what it was building up to. Or I think that's why I'm the leader. I'm um, the leader of the Bullet Club. Now that, that little key thing, the leader. Because exactly. Kenny's the leader, Cody's not. No, so that gets underneath Kenny. It's like now, the little things like that. I could be bullet. I could be talking out of my ass. Who the fuck knows? Maybe he actually didn't mean that. And if if so, yeah, then hope Cody. It's all. Then Cody. It's all Cody character. is a hypocrite, and OTR Center is one hundred percent right. But at the end of the day, it's like I don't think that's that because Cody said this had to have known it's bullshit. He had to know. Okay. That it is, yeah, it had to be. He remains in character. Because thinking about it now, it feels like it's so character based. It's yeah. like, would he really be that stupid to say, oh, WWE never, never, never holds back? After he, like, no, they, he, when he they knows, did it's the it's character, it's it's character. Based. After he went on and said they did, that they did. Yeah. Exactly. It's all character based. Even he. Yeah. And obviously, yeah, that's that's Cody in, in the indie circuit is a heel. He started out as a heel, went face, turned heel again. Yeah. He is a heel right now. That's his gimmick. And plus, uh, and Kenny Omega is a big fucking for me, reaction. For me, it it's sucks great. though because I feel like, right? Um, even though, know. even though he was, uh, he's a great heel, obviously. Oh yeah, he's a fantastic heel. Oh but yeah, I, Cody Rhodes is legitimately like got the biggest reaction when he won the Ring of Honor title against Daniels. Oh my god, because he was still being challenged before his game. Being, his being there live, I was there fucking live. That arena erupted at best in the world. Like, yeah. he was fucking white hot in Ring of Honor at that point. I really wish they even, if you saw their Bullet Club face at that point. I love where they're going now. I love where they're going now. Yeah. That G.O.D. is kind of face. With Fale in their face. No, uh, I can't. I and Chase fuck. Owens kind of are faces. Can, like, can the we, whole stable in, like, general, in general now is because it's so heel heavy with the stables in New Japan. 
they're they're the faces. Can we can we like talk about uh, a certain member of the board club though that sort of just sucks bad luck falling? We talked about it before. Oh my god. I don't think the end of boss is all that bad. I really don't think that's like that's I just, just I his gimmick is him. is that he's a kick he's he's gonna kick your ass. But he doesn't well, kick well, anybody's ass. He's, <laughs> he, but the, that's the thing though. He's, he's false. That's all he does. He's, he's, he's the bodyguard. <laughs> but he's sure he can eat the bodyguard. <laughs> that's his gimmick. We think what do you think bodyguards are five forty? Hundred pounds soaking wet? No, the big fucking fat guy. No, that's not what I'm saying. I get that. I get that. But at the same I just don't time, think. I just don't think you gotta watch right. more of his stuff. I I've seen enough of his stuff. I can't knows. judge. I haven't seen enough. I personally, I personally like Butler. That's just me. I think. Who knows? Two years ago, he could be great. No, but he, I, I think mean, he's slowing down now because all I'm seeing is just he's not doing much. Especially in the six man tag match, he just lays a lot of and it's like. It's like Literally wouldn't look as if it had a hot bag guy is. But he's not, but they heal that much. And that was, that was Enzo and Big Cass. I would have done, honestly. Luke would Enzo and Big Cass. I don't know. That's why I say, I don't know. Tom, Tom DeLoro and, and Tom I love Tom, Tom, Tom DeLoro and Tom Katonga are great. But I, I'm, I just sour on that. Also, dude, they're all, they're, they're, they're all later. Um, kind of like a weird little thing. Yeah. Is yeah. um actually, Tonga Loa and Tom Katonga are, bro are brothers, but. King Tonga adopted Tonga Loa. They were actually cousins. Him and uh, Leo Tonga. Leo Tonga and Tama Tonga are brothers. Yeah. And they were adopted by Haku. Yeah. But they were cousins to begin with, so they're brothers. Yeah. And the funny fun, uh, little fun fact is they're actually all related. Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, and uh, Bad Luck Fale are all related. They're all cousins. Well, you know what I find hilarious, right? Get guys like Tonga Loma, Tonga Tonga, and like all these other like second, third generation superstars that are in like New Japan that he would like. Also, how too, the fuck did they not make it in WWE? So also, too, know. props to Tonga Loa for going to so New Japan. Out. Well, TNA first, he was actually kind of decent in TNA, but then he went to and he, now he's in New Japan. He's a legit fucking stud. Yeah, he's a fucking star in New Japan. What we're talking Tonga Loa? Yeah, absolutely. Camacho for any WWE. Camacho. Camacho, he yeah. was, he's an absolute stud in, like, in New Japan right now. It's, it, in his matches, if you're, if you're a kid, don't watch the matches, because he, he swears the, so much. Yeah, he sucks a lot of shit. He, he, it's so, it's actually so funny. He's so funny. He's, a, I fucking hate you! You fucking piece of shit! Well, he's about to get hit, he goes, oh shit! <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. Uh, that was great. We, you got to at least agree on this, though, because I obviously I've, I've only seen the New Year Dash show because I've just been so busy with school. But it made no sense to take the six man tag championships off the Bullet Club just to add Wrestle Kingdom, just to put them right back on it the next night. That was off. That was bad. Uh, yeah, do you I, they're I, actually defending the championships at that show, too. Not the show, but the for, the, for, the, for yeah. the record, I, I do want to say this. Um, and against Bullet Club, too. The Bullet Club is Bullet Club. Because when we do a year end, it was both those title chains are going to be like the worst. Because they were like, when they made no, they made no sense. All right, I, I, want, like, I want to get through the rest of the card. Then we get, yeah, then we just so, talk, then we we get the thoughts on that match. I feel like we should just predict the shows that are coming up. Like, even the Impact Lucha card looks really good. No. Did you, like, Scott Stein is on my card? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think who he's That's teaming with. That's kind of the only reason why. Who's he teaming with? Yeah, who's I forget who he's teaming with. I don't know. But all, I know is, like, all I know is that I think it's against a fat ass, so he's probably going to call him a fat ass, and that's great. That means that means I'm I'm gonna, gonna, that means I'm watching another Scott Steiner thing. Just the match? <laughs> yes, probably. I don't know. I mean, we can find out. Uh, if you watch the oh, I know it's Teddy Hart. I'm not, no, I'm probably not going to watch it, honestly. It's Scott Steiner and Teddy Hart versus OB. If you, uh, if you watch... Yeah, Teddy Hart, Hart. That fucking idiot. Teddy Hart. If you watch Teddy Hart! Teddy Hart! Teddy Hart, if, Teddy Hart and Scott Steiner are going to be fucking... If you watch, it, but if you watch... Just, the, I feel like they're just going to talk mad shit the whole time. OB and just bury him. But if you watch <laughs> Impact... So if you watch stupid. Impact versus Lucha over WrestleMania, then... What you need to look at your No, I'm not I'm from from yeah. yeah. so yeah. anyways, okay, no, I wanna get to I wanna get to this whole card first. Let me get to that time. Uh Dalton Castle versus Marty Scarl for the ROH War Championship. Ooh, cool. 
shit to, to start. It's just like, yeah, he's uh, oh, fuck it, yeah, that's great. It's just like they're, 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 they're obviously not in order because it has Kenny versus Cody as the first yeah. actual match on the show. Yeah. Uh, and then of course the the actually the, the women do get a match on the show. It's the winner of the two pre-show matches. So what's either Klein or Witani versus fine, uh, Sumisaki and Taylor Dashboard on Emma. Good, good. Uh, Big Dick Page versus Kota Ibushi. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, man. Page was the Kota Ibushi. Gotcha. Uh, that should be good. That should be really good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Page has shown a lot. He was green of the goose shit, but before he, when he was with um, was it, I think DJ Whitmer and all at the, the, the beginning. But he's yeah, so but he's better. he's so much better. I think it's just like since he's gone with like Cody and the young. Oh yeah. So you see that the Bullet Club? Drastically improved. So. Soon as he got added to the Bullet Club. Yeah. Like uh, it's like it's like a transformation. Ago. Like as I remember Hangman Page, I'm like, although I do remember one Adam game match. I, I I hated uh, Hangman Page like like during this because like when he came out, I was like I remember like all these bad matches and like fuck this dude, I hate him. Yeah, he's coming out and he uh, Kazarian, for his best match was Kazarian the best in the world. And, I saw his matches. Like he did really fucking good in that match. He's he's he actually really underrated. Good. He's underrated. He's still young too. Yeah, he's he like twenty five. He's, he's, he's learning quick too. Jay White, take notes. Just saying. He's still good though. Jay White's like it. Yeah, yeah, SoCal yeah. Uncensored versus the Young Bucks and Flip Gordon mm-hmm. in a ladder match for the ROH Six Man Tag Team. Yeah, that yeah. that's interesting too. The that's flip part intrigues me. Like, that, like what? This dude. Uh, Who's in uh so SoCal uncensored really? I know I know it has the eviction in there. You make this Scorpio's guy too also. Yeah. Or Harold for the, with the, the team Hell No segments in the anger management, that's Harold. No, it's fucking Oh awesome. yeah, yeah, it's Scorpio's guy. Are you serious? Yeah. He was actually hired by WWE, but then he said some stupid fucking homophobic comment and he got fired. But then like the next week. <laughs> so really? oh, that yeah. sucks. He made like a yeah, homophobic comment. How, why, uh, how did you get hired back though for that? For those it was segments? after. That was after that. Really? It was after the team also held those segments. Oh, I'm after what? They hired him. Think about what we. Well, this, he was. I don't think he was technically hired, but he was in the process of being hired. He went on Twitter and he made a, a homophobic comment, and he got immediately. They didn't hire him. Uh, sure. So that's Harold. A team also held those segments. That's that's. Scorpio think, about, think about what we could have seen too with. Uh, the Pelo no seconds too. We could have seen him again. I know, but Shane's in WrestleMania, so fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Well, he is in. Yeah. He's legitimately going, so he's he's fine. Though. They on SmackDown, he did not look well at all. But fuck it, WWE is gonna fucking kill it. He's gonna Vince is gonna kill his son. Yeah. I don't, fuck it. But Brian, 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 it's different though. Yeah. Brian just wasn't in the hall. Oh, yeah. 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 Legitimately, so they find the whole match. I'm saying, I'm yeah. like. If, the, if if Shane McMahon literally dies because of fucking Vince's negligence, I'm gonna be so fucking. I think partly. I, I think, think it's Shane. I think, I think partly it's Shane too. Also, I think Shane wants to be in the match. I yeah. think he wanted to get taken out. Yeah, but that's still, probably his pride too. I like know that, pride. but fucking don't be it. There's a difference between uh, there's a difference in business between being try, trying to be compassionate and trying to let shit slide, and then being a full out. Especially with your own son in the fucking line of danger. I think it's more. I think you know it's I mean? more on. That's why they waited until Tuesday to announce it. Yeah. Because I think it's more so on Shane than it is on Vince. But yeah, probably. Anyway, but okay. Uh, Tomohiro Ishii versus Punishment Martinez. Oh shit! Oh shit! Dude, you want to talk about people that are underrated? Punishment Martinez is like. Fucking machine. He's a goddamn he's fucking machine. I he's love, fucking I huge. love Punishment Martinez. He debuted at Best in the Fucking World, and I still remember it. He laid out everybody. Yeah. He laid out this fucking, I don't even remember the Jabroni's name, but he fucking did a last ride on the apron. I thought that was fucking great. I thought that was fucking amazing. I fucking he's a fucking huge for that shit. He's six foot seven. He's fucking awesome. He's fucking huge. He's so athletic too. For, for a guy who's like six foot seven, he's fucking. He can do like springboards and shit. It's he's fucking, fucking ridiculous, bro. Dude, this dude, dude. If there's anybody that uh, I would, I would love to see. Uh, like, if there was like a NXT ROS team up, I would love to see Alistair Black versus Cody. Him. Actually, that would be fun. That was the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks brought this up that WWE should be going to working for New Japan and Ring of Honor. Yeah, I agree. 
Hundred percent. I've been NXT, saying I've been saying this for like a year now. Too late. late. Too late. Not too late. NXT, anyways. I don't know about the main WWE. Too no, it would be. Would be the main challenge. The, because they want to face the Usos. Matt and Nick Jackson want to face the Usos. Oh yeah, big time. Like that's a, he said. Like if you go on, like I think it was Nick's Twitter it said that uh, he's like, I, I would love to see us work with WWE. So because they want to face the Usos, like legitimately want to face the Usos. Does it want a team? Who's so, who's so, who's so, who's so, fucking them! You, you fucking get in that match would be fucking the classic. Yeah, it would be. Or or uh, another fucking thing I would love to see would be uh, the New Day versus the Addiction. That's a fucking match too. Or like two, two or New Day versus teams, uh, the Jackets. Two comedic teams, except one's a heel and does dastardly deeds. The other one is like com comic relief. Or you could make like, so much fucking. Or you sense. can have like you can insert. Neon Bucks and like take out the Bludgeon Brothers and put like have that feud. I like but that. With the Bucks versus the New Day versus the Usos. I think Dave Meltzer would cream in his pants. Well, it's a WWE <laughs> match though. I think I cream in my pants. Yeah, that'd be fucking epic. I think imagine be that match at a TLC match. Yes. And that would be like Edge Christians and uh, Edge you know Christians and WWE's The one match that really got me into Burger Modern was uh, and, and this is legitimately. Uh, the match that really got me into the water uh, was the six man uh, or the uh, the triangle uh, ladder match that they had with the Motor City, the Young Bucks, and the Addiction. That yeah. was fucking great, dude. That took me back to like TLC days. They have like uh, they just had like a like a hardcore match recently at ROH 16th anniversary. Did they really? Yeah, it was really fucking good. Between addiction. the three teams, it was SoCal SoCal and Sensing versus. Uh, the uh, sure. the the hung box as they're called, uh, Hangman Page and the Young Bucks. Yeah, but man, mostly are mostly machine guys. By the way, still the uh, tag champs. Fuck. Uh, no, they're not. Oh, really? Who they're losing to? The Briscoes. Oh, so the heel Briscoes. So they're having so they're having the Motor City Challenge for them at the uh, Supercard though. I'll oh, get to in a second. I'll get I'll get to it in a second. All right, yeah, get, get uh, to it. but it's. Uh, for the ROH Television Championship, last man standing match, play on the last real man. Silas Young versus Kenny King for the Television Championship. Oh. Kind of the last real man, last man standing match. I, like that. That. I, I just caught that. Like that. I, I, I just caught that right now. Mm. A play on the last real man. Gotcha. Well, that, 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 Kenny, that should be good. Kenny King's obviously winning. That should be He's the baby face. Yeah. And they've been feuding for a while, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the wall. They've been. Uh, I think Kenny just got his uh, the television championship back recently. Yeah, so he's either winning or he's legitimately losing. They, see, here's the two things: he's losing and going to WWE, which I doubt. I don't think that's happening. And uh, or he's winning this because that's what's happening there. ROH Tag Team Championship match: The Briscoes versus Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Shit. What? What? <laughs> what? Tanahashi? Tanahashi, baby. Oh, fucking shit. I okay. Some, I want to see some high five blows, baby. High five. Dude, that, the ace is coming. I'm, I'm loving this now. Okay. Okay. This one's kind of like, I, I, did, I just saw this one right now. I haven't checked the card in a few days. Chucky T. Chuck Taylor versus Jonathan Gresham. Such a random match. That's like a lot of these matches have story behind it, and then it's just like Chucky T. versus Jonathan Gresham. But <laughs> just like no story behind it whatsoever. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> I mean, sure. whatever floats your boat, guys. But like overall, what do you what do you guys think about the card? It's incredible. Uh, that's right. That's it's like awesome. fucking incredible. Dude, uh, when, when a lot of story. When does that start? 7 p.m.? I don't. I think it might be the same time as NXT. Is it? I'm not. That might be. I don't Steve know. Steve said he was going to go to. He would have probably gone to the show. Set, if it's 7 p.m., yeah. I know what I'm doing. I, I think we know like so so I am I am doing I am going back to my Jamie Bird side YouTube channel. Okay, guys. All right. So what I'm going to be doing is going to be reacting to both the ROA show and the NXT show simultaneously. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think Live. I don't think. This is going to be a fucking disaster, but I don't give a fuck because this reminds me of the time when I was like three, four years old, five years old, and 
We had WCW and WWF on, nobody fucking, watched on two television. I don't give a fuck. That's what I'm doing. It makes me feel like a kid again. If you want to see me be a fucking total diss, you know, come on, Jay, besides. It's going to be great. We'll have a party. You'd be better off just watching one than No, I'll watch a whole I think it's going to be snowing. Snow. Jesus Christ. What they snow going to <laughs> It's literally supposed to snow in the next half hour. Damn it. Oh, well, only for like the next couple of hours. It's going to change the next. I just got the alert on my phone. It's literally, it's literally, it's literally not even going to come to pay rent. You're fine. Don't worry about it. My dad checked the weather report today, anyway. Uh, fuck it. So now we should talk about what happened on the WWE side of things going into WrestleMania. Uh, Shane McMahon is somehow still able to even fucking compete at WrestleMania. Yeah, by the grace of God. Does he have diverticulitis? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Jesus it's Christ. It's not his. It's not even, I don't think it's even him. I think okay, it's I mean, the, the, they're, gonna, they're gonna have to give the win to Owens the same here, because... I, mean, I, I, know they're, I know their jobs aren't on the line, but I feel no, like No, they are. They come yeah. back. If they're not, they're gone. No, yeah. I'm talking about um, uh, Brian and Shane's jobs. And the only reason I say that is because if Kevin and Sammy win, then that may, first off, that makes Daniel Bryan a full on competitor again. And two, Shane kind of needs to fucking rest. <laughs> well, he, he, said he, he, he said he needs to fucking rest. He said he's taking a leave. Of, he took a leave of absence anyway, so. Yeah. And like. Something's gonna happen. Do you think that that's why? No. I, I mean, other than the storyline that they I don't think that's why. I don't think that had anything to do with it. I think, I don't think, I just think it, it had to do with him with like interjecting himself in all the matches. For I, will, I will say though, this gives Kevin and Sammy some major fucking heat. It did. Like, it did. Because like, this looks like when they uh, did it. See, and, like, they get, look, the thing that too is. I love, I love when, that promo when was cut on the phone where he fucking chucked it in the air and said, that boy, that was great. And then he had to pause. The thing, the thing too is, uh, this is I, I even said this in the chat. When they beat up Daniel Bryan, that was the first time in a very long time a heel actually got heel heat in WWE. You know what the funny thing is? You could come out a heel could come, come out. Come on, well, say, I mean, I'll be mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, just come main roster because obviously we have the challenge that stuff going on. Yeah, like just main roster because yeah. no one gets heel heat on the main roster. The last roster. time I think it was uh, it was Jinder. Yeah, but that's no, no, I'm not. It doing. had to be gender because uh, I'm counting. That's go week. I don't count go week. That's, that's not really go away. That's that's what we talk about. Heel, heel, heel. It's still heel, 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 though. That was go away. That, that was like it was Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. But still, like that's you can't you can't just ignore it. The wheel, the wheel, heel, heel, please win, Rusa, please. The wheel, heel, heel was when Kevin Owens attacked Chris Jericho during the Fiesta Bowl question. That was the Fiesta Bowl. Fiestable. Festival of my show. <laughs> that was supposed to say. It'd be a feast at the Fiestable. <laughs> <laughs> but it, like, it's, it's been a while. Nah, we're we're going to get some grub at the Fiestable. Ke- Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens can come out and say this this fucking city should burn in hell and I want to burn this fucking city down. And he still wouldn't get any heel heat. It, no, he no, he it, he it took him to beating up fucking Brian Daniels. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> no, he, he, he got heel heat for Shane too, the way he beat him up. No, he didn't. No, he, he kind of did. No, he, got some booze. Whole, he got more booze than he got cheers that night. I was it was 50-50. You mean Vince. But at the same time... You know, what, Shane is Vince now? No, when Kevin Owens beat up Vince. Shane, no. Shane, when they beat up Shane, when him and Sammy beat up Shane, they actually got more booze than cheers that night. And then when they beat up, obviously when they beat up Brian. Oh, they got yeah. fucking... They got the they got yeah, the, they, that was heat. It yeah. was nuclear. Yeah. There. Let's, let's be real though. The I'm, thing though that they got me to. We've got to be is, honest with ourselves here on this one. Had Daniel Bryan not be cleared, the storyline would have been fucking trash. Let's no, it was. Yes, I like the way that the storylines progressed. Yeah, it's I like the way, but the storyline has more intrigue now, though, and it makes more sense the way they're doing it now, and they actually make Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Look like there was bad guys. Oh my god, it's a fucking miracle. I know, because that's the bit the whole complaint is that Shane looks like the, the dick. The thing is, too, with this match, is there's going to be a turn. Yeah, someone's swerving someone on this match. Whether it's Kevin turning on Sammy, Sammy turning on Kevin. I feel like you should go that way. Or by the like other should, way. Sammy should turn on Kevin. It or the other so way. It's Brian turning on Shane or Shane turning on Brian. So the one one feel like, which one seems more realistic? But it, wouldn't it be Shane on Brian? I feel like, yes. However, I think you can make the argument to do the Sammy. 
Because if you really think about it, if you really fucking think about it in your head, Sami Zayn hates Kevin Owens and KK Wise, right? No. Deep down inside, bro. Like, it's yes. always done. Yeah. Because the, I think that if you really want to build up a really good, like, but Sammy Zayn gets his just due. Kevin Owens, for all the shit that he did to Sammy, for all the shit that he did to Danny Bryan and Shane, this would culminate mostly for Sami Zayn to turn on Kevin Owens. It makes more sense doing it because Sami Zayn. That was the whole reason he teamed up. Let's not let's not fucking kid ourselves. Like Sami Zayn benefited from this more than Kevin benefited from it. Yeah. Kevin the whole Dunia, reason Kevin Dunn a star. That's Emo exactly. Sami Zayn, yeah. Sami Zayn did this. He used Kevin Owens. Just like Kevin Owens he was Sami Zayn until he attacked him on NXT Takeover Revolution. Yeah. This goes back years. This goes back four uh, almost three and a half years now. I would say more though, if you think of it. When, yeah. when Kevin turned on Elgin Erico mm-hmm. way back in the day. Elgin Erico I would say uh, people, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. He's a, that's why it's Elgin Erico's over in over in Mexico. That's a, that's his best friend. Yeah. That's Kevin Steen's best friend, El Erico. Mm-hmm. But I would say uh but it it, it it dates way back to like two thousand and seven. 2008, yeah. 2009. I would say the biggest mistake would be having Brian Jones. Because Brian should never be a No, I don't yet. think they'll do that. I don't think they will. That I would, think they test the waters with it. And uh, it, he was kind of getting some mixed if reactions. He, if they, but no, it wasn't, there wouldn't be like, yeah. Daniel Bryan got, he was the, the babyface in this the whole yeah. time. And again, if you think of it too, we're getting that the ultimate underdog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, the, 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 he's to his kids. He's worth it. It wouldn't work. It'd be like when they turned Stone Cold at WrestleMania 17 in Texas. They're basically turning him where he won the WWE yeah. World Weekend. That would just be... Well, well they that would be a well, they did it with Austin. If they did it with Austin because they don't have competition, don't, don't put it past them. They need to not do the same thing. But Let's not put it past them. Where you had his biggest <laughs> Oh, many times. Where we had his biggest triumph in WWE? It's like WrestleMania 30 in New Orleans. Yeah. It's back in New Orleans again. It's gonna be oh my god, I didn't even think of that. You just, know what? Because you know what? He's not, he's, that's not that's watching, so. he's not watching. Back when we had his biggest triumph, he's yeah. gonna turn WrestleMania into WrestleMania yeah. again. Obviously, you could have uh, Shane. T- I don't think Brian to lose. Those yes me. kicks again in New Orleans? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't think Brian, but I don't think Brian and Shane should even. Like, Brian and Shane should not lose, because I don't think Brian should lose. It would add more intrigue to the storyline. It would, because they would force like Vince McMahon to come out and maybe rehire Kevin and Sammy to go above Shane. Like, because Vince is the boss, and then it's Shane, and it's Daniel. Just like, imagine if they do that, like. I feel he, like, I feel like, like. Or he could be like, he beat the respect out of me. Like, he respects, you know, the heels. Because deep down inside, Vince and Kevin McMahon is a heel. Mr. McMahon is a heel. Yeah. A cold blooded heel. Just um, think of that, like, he earned my respect by being the living shit out of me. Yeah. If you think of it, and they're rehired. You try to uh, hold back Kevin and Sammy. Now I'm bringing them back. The best bit, I think the best option is uh, they have a superstar shakeup coming up, right? After WrestleMania. Yeah, a lot of things are going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Releases, Daniel Bryan, releases, shakeups. Yeah. Literally, yeah. on the business side of things, too. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. They just a win. lot of new faces coming in, a lot of old faces leaving too yeah. also. Damn, yeah. Legitimately. Yeah. But not Daniel, like storyline wise, like yeah. legitimately getting released. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon though, uh love that XT fall off they typically do those, but Well yeah, so here's my people thing. getting called up. You I know, think the biggest people that are like Ty Dillinger kind of like those type you want or who are middling. Let's talk about long term. So the, like this year they did the long term thing with Lesnar and um won the title. I also heard many different stories on Brock Lesnar. This might not be. Yeah. yeah. He might well, not actually be gone, gone. Well, hold on. Yeah. Because he, he, he might not fight until early next year. But, um, uh, what was I saying? So, Daniel Bryan is has now returned. I feel like what they should do, if they really want to build up another long, uh, year long thing, um, I think you should add this somehow into this whole. Debacle. I feel yeah, I'll like do it. I think they'll do it. I feel like so if there's any, I feel like, I, no, honestly, I feel like if you really want to maximize your thing, 
Sami Zayn already proved his point by walking out, like I said. If you really wanted to have a screw job here, say a referee takes a bump or whatever, and then this costs uh, Daniel Bryan the match at Mania. I feel like that did, like, that's the after, catalyst for you would have to That would be the catalyst for a world championship match. You would have to make Miz the champion. That's the only rule here. I would Probably say you know, have to drop it to you but it would make no fucking either. sense. It has to happen. AJ would have to take the round. Because, not because be that the, the most invested feud. Actually, you could have to play that. That has happened. The whole transition from the old guard to the new guard has always been, since 2010, the Miz and Daniel Bryan. The Miz and Daniel Bryan have been feuding for years. You could have, like, you could it have makes sense. Thing. You could have it, the Miz lose at WrestleMania. Have, them have, have that match going earlier. Mm -hmm. Miz is pissed. About to lose the title. Cost Daniel his match. Later on down the line, let's say it's Finn. Later on down the line, Miz wins. I the think. Title I think if they're, if they're smart, they have the. Or Miz. Or Miz wins. If they're in smart, in they have moment. the Intercontinental Championship match on the show and Miz loses. To Finn Balor. They could do. I would. Uh, I'd say hold off on Miz. So I, I don't you think you're gonna do. have it if that match is going on first. Yeah. Then I can see that happen. I would say hold off on the Miz. Like, have Miz get traded to SmackDown that happened. No, if you will, it. well, that's the thing. You will because of the shakeup. You yeah. can easily break that in. It, that, yeah, I know. That's what why I say have him interfere in the match at Mania because it makes sense. He, he, he most likely would get drafted. Or just him. flip the two championships. Like, let's say Miz wins and he's gloating. Because remember, it's not, it's not, it's it's not even a draft. They say it's a shakeup. So it's like Miz they, they're trading effect. off guys. Like, that's the whole K Fit thing. They're trading off guys to. So Daniel Bryan trades in for the Miz. Trades in like or, tag or, team for the Miz. Or he goes to Raw. Bryan does the second is the wrestler now. Yeah. He is, but I would I would keep him on SmackDown. I think I think I think I I Especially I the under player. I under this belief I would still be under this belief and fan that I think the WWE World Championship should be treated as the championship. Fuck the universal title, fuck everything. The world title should be treated as such a prestige. But also, too, would you want Miz to be champion over AJ and Nakamura? Yeah. No. I, I want to. Uh, now, here's the deal. No, no he, he would so not be as receptive to here, that. Here's, here, here, here's the deal. I think that I, if this is 2010, Miz is a whole fucking different story. He was not ready by that point. I think I Miz, just don't think that that's not. I think Miz is better suited for the mid card than he is the he, he is well, upper mid card as opposed to main. But, uh, but I but I here, here's the thing that I do uh, that I do see. It's not like he can't do what he does. If if or he double did, champion, you want to piss people off. True. If you really do, true. And well, then have well, next year at Mania have have it be Brian versus Miz for the WWE Championship, but Miz still keeps his Intercontinental Championship, and just flip the US and Intercontinental Championship. Like Randy Orton or Bobby Roode or whoever goes to Raw. I think that's fine. Like just flip those champions. I, uh, to me, though, this is the deal. I think that um, the reason why I I'm advocating for Miz, I never thought he'd even do this. By the way, un until his fucking run, I'm never gonna have to do this. Ever. No, life. I grant that. I I understand that. However, here's the deal with the Miz. The Miz at least could be a good heel right now. Miz can get you the cheer. People can genuinely hate the fucking dude. This guy, I hate him. genuinely, I hate him. Go in for the burning back. Winning, winning the world title, but it wouldn't be the way he like the fucking gender was. You would pay to see the Miz with the main championship at some point down the line. If you can build, to, if you can build this up for the Miz, for the Miz to be wrecking shop as champion, not necessarily after after me. I'm not saying that, but he's eventually down the line, line he goes to, he wins it at SummerSlam or something. And for a half a year, it builds up Daniel Bryan versus the Miz, and it's gonna be for the WWE Championship. I Daniel like Bryan that. is gonna be a fucking hero. Oh yeah. And the Miz is gonna be the See, ultimate yeah, that belt. See, the thing is, I don't want it to be I don't want that to change into what it was with Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. Mm, true, where, true. where on paper, Daniel Bryan's a three time WWE champion. When he's really technically only a one time WWE champion. Yeah. 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 And it was at, at WrestleMania. Because he yeah. didn't even hold the ball. He held those championships probably for a combined three minutes. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, because he won the world well, championship. Ten minutes. He won, the world, he won the world championship version, then he won the WWE championship version, then he won the both, both of the belts. Yeah. 
See, like with when radio and cash in. I'm talking about when radio and cash in. Yeah. And then when um, he won, when Scott Armstrong did the fast count thing. So I mean, like a day or something. We'll say we'll say a combined half hour. Yeah. Half hour combined, both both championship reigns. That to me really made me mad because I was like, that doesn't. He, that just doesn't. He doesn't feel like a three-time WWE champion. Yeah. He feels more like a one-time WWE champion because he's technically a one-time WWE champion. Yeah. But you could probably yeah. say that. You can say that a lot. I don't like, want that to be the case. You can say that a lot. He of beats Miz, but it's a screw job, and yeah. you know the ref. Oh no no no! I'm not saying that. I'd say he should win, and then he should actually defend the belt. Yeah. I think he should actually have one we'll more championship run. Absolutely. I don't think there should be a screw job. I don't know what I'm fucking saying. I think that, first off, they do this whole revenge tour thing now. Uh, I guess that's what they call it. So I think they should probably have a rematch at the taking you after. Or something. Because uh, what's the pay-per-view they have usually for um, I know they're going to do dual branding now. So the, if they still stick lap. with that. No, the latest Rumble event. It's either going to be Backlash or Payback. No, so see, what I do with that. Yeah, Backlash, you should have a double yeah. mark. You know what? You know what? Because Miz is probably going to take time after yeah. WrestleMania to be with Monroe and be with Maurice. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, fuck. You can't, I don't think, personally, like... Now you can't have I say, Mike, go, go be with your kid. Yeah. You just had a kid, go be with your kid. Do, like, I, he's probably going to take although a I do, Although I do have a way around that, though. I do, I do have he a way... He wants to be with his kid? Be, be no, a, no, no, no. I get that. I get be that. a satellite. Be a satellite shit. Yeah. Or... Even if he doesn't want to be a satellite, you can do this whole thing where he's fired by Daniel. It's the whole reason he fucking brought him in. I mean, he he would it would kind of be heelish, but it would also be very much fucking justified. So he would get fired, and then you can have Miz spend time with his kid, make sure he's properly being treated, and when he's ready to come back, which would hopefully be by SummerSlam, you can make it work then. And then at that point, give Miz. What you give Daniel Bryan, give him like that limited bro schedule thing, give him the right work and house show schedule. That way he can go be with his kid for a while while he's still yeah. going to TV. Therefore, you're making everybody happy. By the way, you fucking schmucks, WWE, it's called compromise! <laughs> That's what you do! It's compromise! Well, they came to a compromise with Bryan. Look at them. We get fucking Daniel Bryan. Yeah, we're exactly. happy with that. Yes. Um, but that's what I do. If it were me, I, that's how I would make it. But yeah, anyhow, uh, obviously I'll get to my prediction. We actually do the predictions, so. Um, no, I do the predictions now. Well, I want to talk about like Raw and SmackDown. Oh, I really don't want to talk about Raw and SmackDown. Who gives a shit? Seriously. This is probably going to be over in like. The one time him and I agree days. with that. He's like, I don't even watch the show anymore. He still likes. Well, let's do it. We'll do it. We'll do the NXT predictions first. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Since we, since we went all the way along. So obviously, uh, I don't know what happens though because Steve isn't here. Just, so again, there's no title. There's yeah, no title. Like, we're not in here. We won't do one. So let's we'll decide. John will defend it against you and me at, at a triple threat match. Just so that way. Steve he said he's going to be here at 1.30. Yeah, we're probably going to be done. We got, we got time. No, we're pro- we can probably just extend it until next. I don't have to wait until fucking 2. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but we can probably extend it until next. I don't have to wait until fucking 2. Yeah, I don't want to be here until 2. Yeah, extend it. We can talk about shit. I don't want to be here until 2. Dude, I'm really, dude, come on. I don't want to be here. We want, I want to be back when they have to start going. Oh, let's do it. Come on, just extend it. I don't want to be here until two. You don't yeah. have to be here until two. We're extending it for two. On the off chance that Steve does come here and then he fucking actually let us back in. <laughs> right. Maybe. We'll see. That's what I want to do. Anyway. So right. obviously, I guess the, the way I can go through this is. Uh, oh, Chris, can you do this? No, it doesn't work. It's not th- it's not a three ninety nine chair. I wish it was. So I guess the way we can do this is uh, we can kind of explain because we haven't talked about NXT in a few weeks, so we can kind of explain the storyline of how this came to be. I haven't watched NXT since the last week, so well, yeah, I, I'll explain it then. So obviously, uh, I'm just gonna go with like what I think is gonna happen in order of the matches. So first, we have the uh, Triple Threat Tag Team match for the NXT Tag Team Championships and the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Trophy. We have Undisputed Era's Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly defending the titles against That, him. that can't be happening. I thought Kyle O'Reilly got injured. That's Bobby Fish. Oh, okay. Okay. 
We put and games. instead of like just no, that's right. I love the championship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is because Adam Cole. Was I thought, like, I thought the uh, I thought the Kyle O'Reilly got injured too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, he tore injured. Uh, Bobby Fish tore his ACL, so he's yeah. up for yeah. nine months. I think. Which stops? That stops. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. call it? Yeah. Uh, but Adam Cole basically instead of stripping them yeah. of the titles, it just said, you know what, Cole's going to win. You know, you know what this calls for, right? Most most likely they're probably going to break Bobby Strong up. No. I feel like they will. Because what more can you do as a big face of NXT at this point? Not join up with them just beauty, though. It's going to happen. Because I don't think it happened. Yeah. That, if he was going to join, he would have joined by now. Yeah. Well, I mean, he has a reason to join if you think about it. He he's already pretty much lost every match since he's not joined. Um, makes sense. It's called being a baby face and being an underdog. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I know. It's just they have no underdog baby faces with us. Um, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano. Technically, no, because Gargano's gone. No, but Gargano. technically. But if he wins, he gets Johnny Gargano. 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 He just told me. I guess so. Because so. that's a good idea. Look, Roger Strong to me is a natural fucking heel. He always will be a natural heel to me. Like that guy, like he has a good fucking story. Don't get me wrong; it's a PJ story that way they built it up. However, Kevin Owens is supposed to be like the sympathetic heel here. You know what I mean? Like, remember he said the same thing. Pretty much, Roger Strong did. He's fighting for his family. Well, he's fighting for his family. I'm fighting for him. my family. There you go. The, the difference between Kevin Owens and uh, Ludwig Strong is that Kevin Owens turned his back on his best friend thousands of times. Yeah. And he's, Kevin Owens is just an actual, like, dick. <laughs> Brother <laughs> Strong, not. Brother <laughs> Strong, have you heard Brother Strong on a shoot promo? Watch Ring of Honor or something like back in fucking 2007. I'm just saying. Others are pain. This is the yeah. Others are pain. All right, so basically, the Strong versus the Authors of Pain. You're making them fuck up, so. Versus the Authors of Pain. The Authors of Pain versus the Authors of Pain. All right, I'm the just Authors saying. The Authors of Pain Championship and the Authors of Pain Trophy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> of pain. So the Authors of Pain get the world match, the world titles, <laughs> they face each other. All right, I'm just face all the Authors of Pain. Yes. Technically, Roger Strong is an Author of Pain. Well, Machine are the new members of the Authors of Pain. So, so the Authors of Pain versus the Authors of Pain. So I have the Authors of Pain versus the Authors of Pain. Authors of Pain Mania. So obviously I've decided. Technically, Roger Clark is an author of Pain. If you think, because he did team up with them at War Games. So he's technically a member of the Authors. He is a member of the Authors of Pain. So you can, no, have, so you can have Roger Strong, or uh, you could have a triple threat off of that uh, match. And it could be the Authors of Pain versus the Authors of Pain versus the Authors of Pain. Because then you can just add more members. You can have and Paul Ellering on Roger Strong's team and then have War Machine. On another team and have them join the Bosses Pain. So and obviously, Pain Mania. Same gimmick anyway. Authors of Pain Mania. And you're golden. Authors of Pain Mania won. So, uh, I decided we could also make the decision. And, uh, or, or you could have Roger Strong team up with Mark Henry and bring back the Hall of Pain. The Hall of Authors of Pain. The Hall yeah. of Authors of Pain. So, obviously, now I can make the authors of the Hall of Pain. <laughs> 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 the fuck is going on? Okay. I, I can obviously make another decision where uh, you join the others of pain. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I I'm going to join the office of pain. I wouldn't be, would be welcome there. Um, <laughs> I was in a lot of pain last night, so I'd be perfect fit for the office of pain. You, so, were the, you were in a lot of pain. You authored that of pain. I authored that pain. <laughs> so, uh, an idea I have is. Uh, you and I can face each other for the right to face John, and whoever wins faces John. But then for the Office of Pain Championship? No. Um, then for the, and then, uh... For the trophy of Office of Pain? No. And then the Office of Pain trophy. So yeah, you and I, fa you and I face off. just a picture of them. A trophy of them just like... <laughs> it's just WWE statues of themselves. <laughs> so yeah, you and I... You and Roy, and then we're <laughs> So you hey, and I. How come they get statues of guys like the Yabuto? All the marks. It's just like shedding teeth. Or it's, or it's just like two heads on, but it's like they crossed out Dusty Rose's face. And they put like Aiken the Brazar's face on it. <laughs> that would be great, actually. And by the way, Cody was invited, but he declined. Respectfully. Yeah. Uh, maybe he was playing the game. He was. Yeah, that's what he respectfully doing. declined because he said it's not about 
you know, me being head smaller, but he, he doesn't want to. He he doesn't want to like take the shine off the people who are at the events. Yeah. So and it's all about the people who. Uh, it's all about NXT. It's not about me because it would been all about Cody. If you think of it. At first, I was like, Cody should go. But then, I, the more I thought about him, like, because then people but, see, people would be more. It would take away from NXT more on Cody. Yeah. Absolutely. But anyhow, uh, so the idea I have is you and I face each other off. One face is John, but then when it comes to WrestleMania, we don't tell John what twenty fifty five is. You could, or you could just pretend that like you already had the number one contendership, and one of you guys won. No, but the thing is, I should have talked to you. Fuck. You should though. You should think you should face John because you're technically the host. Because not anymore. I'm not the champion. So I'm well, saying one of us. But Steve technically can't do it either because he's going to be the ones. Yeah. So no, what I'm saying is one of us faces John, but we don't tell one John which one. I'll get you. You do it. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Just read that. But anyhow, but we, so we have the Triple Threat Tag Team match for the NXT Tag Team Championship and the Dutch Rhodes Tag Team Classic. No one's seen the Dutch Rhodes Tag Tag Team Classic. It's been fantastic. Um, the best matches have obviously been uh, Strong and Dunn versus Morgan and. Uh, I've got to see that match. I've got to see the, only, the only shame is, uh, while that was a great match, I really wish Tyler Bate didn't get hurt because everybody would have seen Bust Dash Mountain versus Boykin and Birch. Uh, Damn so, it. Really? Yeah. Something tells me he didn't get hurt, though, because I think they wanted to just to put squat in there so they wrote off Tyler Bate because that just really strained that, uh, yeah. that how they did it. Because he said he was gone for like two weeks and they announced he was injured like the week before, like a few days before. So I think they were, I think that was a work injury. And then um, other matches, this was actually the first one match, Alvis of Pain versus TM61, which obviously, I was actually worried that TM61 was going to win, but that wouldn't have made any sense. Other great matches. Do you know what I, re you know what I just realized? Uh -huh. Read this card. Adam Cole's going double duty. Because basically, they, he's, in, he's in the ladder match. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Because basically, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we'll, talk about, yeah we'll, we'll get to that. I just saw that, I was like, why? Well, I forgot he was even in the match. Yeah. And then, um, who else was, uh, what else was some great matches? Um, Sanity versus uh, Zapatelli and Moss, and then Sanity versus um, Strong and Dunn. And then obviously we had the finals, and Cole and O'Reilly interfered, because it's the typical heel psychology, yeah. where they think they can just interfere, that no one's going to wrestle, they're not going to wrestle anybody. O'Reilly, oh, yeah. Auto parts. No. <laughs> I just don't, that's, I don't get, but obviously. I had to make that show. Obviously, the heels had to, uh, they just never figure it out. And then maybe he's like, no, you're going to fake both these guys now. And then they're just like, why do we do that? <laughs> like, they I, never, I never understood that the heel psychology. If it's like a, a tag team match or, yeah. or something like that, like where one of those teams like gets like a number one pick tennis shot against the heel champions. Like, the yeah. And if you're thinking, hmm, okay, they're not going to, they're not going to face us. Yeah. And then here comes the face general manager to come out yeah. and be like, by the way, you have to face both of these teams now. Like, like, what, was, was, like what the fuck was the point of going to be in the first no, place? And then you just face both teams. No, and then one of them. And then they also keep it like stupid because they're like, because then they're like, oh shit! We, they're they're just like, what up? Why did we do that? The first place. We should have thought first. No, and then use your brain. Can I tell you? You have to be passive, but you can't use your brain because that's what a baby face does. Can I tell you what the best part was too? Cohen O'Reilly went back to his complaining that Cohen had to pull double duty, and he's just like, I believe when he goes. I, I wanted just to say, well, you can, and then he's like, he gave him off, and he, the O'Reilly goes and faces, or goes and just faces him in like a handicap match. Cole gets <laughs> thrown out of the ladder match, and he lose, they can't get a computer takeover at all. I just want to go to, I want like the face you have to say, like, then why did you interfere with the match? Why did you, why did you interfere? Because now you have to face both teams, instead of just facing one tag. Yeah. Um, that was quick. But anyhow. So yeah, we had this match. Obviously, this was supposed to be Bobby Fish. So, like, so who were the teams? I'm sorry. Adam Cole. 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 Yeah. Adam Cole and Kyle Riley, Roderick Strong, and Pete Dunne. Because it was supposed to be Bobby oh, Fish, right, but right. since he's hurt, yeah. so now Adam Cole's got a I'm shocked, though. Team. I'm shocked that it wasn't Sanity. I mean, I was, when I saw that it was Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne like, advancing the finals, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, like, know, I don't I know. I was like, what? They actually do work well as a team. Yeah, team. they do really. They have, uh, you know, they like, uh, Pete Dunne's bitter, and they do like a double team. You'll probably see it at this T takeover. Like, yeah. yeah, they do that, and then uh, I think Pete Dunne's a face now, too, because he's been at the like, face. Pete yeah. Dunne, because Pete Dunne's just too fucking cool, dude. Like, yeah, he really is. He is more he's so, so, so fucking cool. Yeah. Like, On the 80s, he's a fucking full blown heel. 
Yeah, for the most part. But I feel like, I feel he was like definitely the yellow in the UK Honestly, like he's that. just he's just like he's so good at being the bad guy that he needs to be the face. Yeah. He's so good. It's the he's, just, he's just too good. Yeah. Yeah. To be just a heel, he should just be full up in. And then turn him. legitimately. I think they, I think they did turn him. They should. And then basically, uh, they're what really about changing up on the baby face? So yeah. yeah. So I think this match is going to actually be uh, really good. They're probably going to get hold back a little bit. Maybe not though, because they, because I don't think they want to take the shine away from like the big matches on yeah. this show. So, um, but as for who's going to win this match, so who goes first? To, oh wait. So uh, I forgot, but this is uh, we're not facing off of this. So. Yeah, so I fuck it. So it doesn't um, matter who goes first. I get. I'm gonna go. We'll just go. We'll, we'll go. Chris, me, and James. Um, I'm gonna go with Strong and Dumb because I think they will be. Let's right go. Right. Let's go from one. Let's go from one on down. So you're gonna yeah, be right, Strong or Dumb, or it's gonna. No, be I was gonna go like. I yeah, actually, I'll go with match, uh, like the ladder match. I was gonna. I was going with okay, the. Yeah. Uh, I'll go with the match. They think it was important. Yeah. Well, the match is like the gonna be just just leave it off. I am. I'm just telling Chris how because I don't want to like be the NXT championship match yet. Yeah, so that's like a big match. So, but anyhow, the NXT tag title match. So like, James, I'll look at so you pick Scott and. Uh, I did, but now I I just remember the uh, errors in the match. I'll go with the arrow. I'm gonna go with uh. I'm gonna go with Undisputed. Era. Undisputed. Era. I don't think they, they should take the NXT tag team titles off. No, no. anytime soon. The only thing I question now is if they're gonna get a new member. Yeah, they should probably take the title off. The only thing I question now is if they're gonna get a new member now. Now that Fish is out. They yeah. definitely got. Yeah. I mean. That's well, they could have won with the tag team and took yeah. the gold. That means gold probably wouldn't win that ladder match then. But, That's what I'm thinking. Uh, so should we do a prediction for the ladder uh, match? Roger Strong, Roger Strong, 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 Strong beat them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would, let's, do, let's do it. Let's do it right now. I would say uh, Strong and Dunn would win, but because Pete Dunn's the UK champion, um, they win them. Yeah. I, I would. Every I time would, I see like I oh seven of your champion versus you know uh, yeah. ROH champion, it's like. Down. Like it's technically not even like a twenty of the WWE. No, if you not. think of it, like they're barely they, even on NXT television yeah. as it is. And if it was, they they would be an awesome fight. Pete Dunne, yeah. like one of the indie shows. They did, yeah. That, yeah. They did. Yeah. They did. But like, I would have so. If so, so like, like the fucking the, 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 hilarious and Austin is like, I didn't, I didn't lose me. Like I, I think literally like don't even. Every time I see him, I got Pete Dunne. Yeah. Like every single fucking time it's Pete Dunne because he's not. He's not, he's not. He's under an exclusive WWE contract, but it doesn't like. Yeah. It doesn't like affect like his indie bookings, which is weird. That's like the same thing for like all the UK guys. Like but they have a WWE contract, but it's not an exclusive contract. Recently, what I have, I have what you uploaded this video? Well, basically they did this because UK was like going to open up some sort of like wrestling. Yeah. So WWE got scared, and that's why they made this division. They wanted to like wait them so they could. They did. Do. They have all the good talent. Yeah. I have, I have, a, I have a funny idea. So that's why that UK show never got going. Could you, they, could this, you imagine? That didn't take off. Could you imagine if Austin Aries starts winning this world, all of a sudden he wins also the IWGP World and the Queen of Autumn World titles, along with all the gold he's won, and he has to put it all on the line. He has Pete Dunne the UK title on the line as well, and then Pete Dunne beats him and wins all the belts, and he comes on an Xtenia on the goal. Imagine <laughs> the. Like, <laughs> Imagine he has all the. Imagine like his luggage. And you think of it, he has to weigh that yeah. and claim it also too, going to customs. Oh, oh my god, that would be fucking hysterical. I wonder how much Dude, this would be a whole video on it. That would be amazing. Then. Like holy shit. <laughs> All these indie championships that he wanted one time. He has to take those and then once you, he has to go through customs and claim those. Or else he could be in some fucking big trouble if he doesn't claim those championship belts. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Also, well, uh, he has to. I mean, he has to go through custom to claim. So I think basically, oh my god. I think basically they did the triple threat match too because they didn't want to do. Uh, oh, can you talk, can you win the triple threat? Well, I mean, think about it. If he wins all these championships, they probably give him so much money that he'd have to get his own private jet. He wouldn't even need to go through custom. He probably does have his own. Where are you going? Up your asshole. Asshole up. Uh, five, five, six. Five, five, six. Yeah, LA, right? Yeah. Oh my God. So, uh, that, that, when I'm, I, that's hysterical to me now, and I want it to happen. Yeah. Like, Ares just wins all these titles. He wins every up. indie championship from every company. And then, and then, and then and Don puts his UK whole title team. on the line. The sole championship he has. Austin Aries has every professional <laughs> wrestling belt. <laughs> and, and, and Aries has every professional wrestling belt from every company. Potentially. 
and then dump every the minor promotions, everything. He steals every championship of every company. Yeah, no, no, but but then he goes to the major New Japan and Ring of Honor, wins their title, like, and then he does with all the way down from like the like, major, like every but everyone besides WWE, he doesn't win those championships, but like New Japan on down to like the bottomest of the. That's bottom. what should happen. That's exactly what should happen at at at, uh, at Wrestle Kingdom at Wrestle what is it? What what number are we on? Wrestle Kingdom thirteen, right? Yeah. Wrestle Kingdom thirteen, the main event Pete Dunn versus Austin Aries, and he loses all his tickets to thousands and thousands of changes. And then John has to go. And then he what goes out of his team. Imagine, like, with all this gold. Imagine, like, like he wins else. the North American Championship and just gets all this fucking gold. And, like, when they when they do, like, multiple championships, like, in the stipulations, <laughs> NXT Championship, they all the chance, like, be, like, way down here. <laughs> So dude, dude, we should have like this so, whole like, like, Jericho and like, 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 have like a stipulation like second like, match and exit championship. Yeah. yeah, singles match for every championship. Yeah, everything pages long. long. And then like it'd be like the second match would be like singles match for like with nothing. Yeah, with, like on the line or anything. Oh, oh yeah, it would be like Tasha Sona versus Lars Sullivan, but just randomly. <laughs> and like, it's like five pages of theater. All right, but anyhow, Pete Dunne is the champion of the universe. He wins all. He is the universal team. champion. He is the true universal champion. If there's anybody that Brock Lesnar should fight at that point, it's Pete Dunne or whoever the fuck the universal champion should be. And then Brock Le- no, then Brock Lesnar beats him for all the belts. We would never see it. You wouldn't see Lesnar again. There'd be no wrestling. Wrestling dies. <laughs> yeah. Let's just so beat them. Beat, 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 and then Pete Dunne goes in and takes. He takes every championship in WWE and loses all those titles of Brock Lesnar. Then for Brock Lesnar, every single championship of every. Which means wrestling dies time. and he has all those belts and. And, they, and, they and, then, and then he goes to UFC, wins all their belts, never shows up there, and then <laughs> fucking he just retires. And then, then wrestling dies, UFC so, dies, everything dies. So fucked. They ask, him, "Hey Brock, can you come and win the major championship?" And he like doesn't even pick up the phone. <laughs> like, like he just ignores every phone. <laughs> Oh, that should have been part of the moment. He's like, he suddenly, he suddenly doesn't have service on his phone anymore. Skip on this. He suddenly has no service. He's in the middle of fucking nowhere in Saskatchewan. No, that should have been one of the storylines. His house just made a championship belts. No, one of the segments now that you just said that with the Roman Reigns block was this one is uh, when uh, Roman Reigns went backstage. Vince should have tried to call him on his phone and Brock doesn't pick up. That should have been. That yeah, would have been so funny, like. I'll practice it in his service and we'll go through. Pete Dunn just starts cutting me break promo. She's like, I'm the true monopoly of wrestling. And then and then Brock Lesnar just comes on, dude, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. Brock Lesnar appears via satellite. He's he's the satellite. satellite. Dude, at the same time, I'm gonna fuck your shit up with the hundreds of thousands of championships behind him. Just like, <laughs> and then doesn't even say anything, just like, just goes, the, and then like, the screen goes dark. Completely. <laughs> like, as to play on the, oh, he has no service kind yeah. of thing. Like, he's in the middle of, like, a remote area in Saskatchewan, Canada. Just, like, <laughs> no service, no nothing. It's so like, he gets, like, no, like, when you lose service, like, you gain it back, like, a second, and you lose it again. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's like, just to show you that Brock is every champion. <laughs> and then you don't get someone gets, like, so one <laughs> But anyhow, back to his two takeaways. Going way off topic. Yeah, okay. But anyhow, yeah, the reason they did the triple threat match basically is they didn't want to do AOP with oh, Undisputed Era like again. And they and I think they wanted to get to protect AOP from losing the Wad with Sean and oh, Pete Dunne. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now that the last match now. Basically, now we know that AOP's not winning because this is going to be the last match. Yeah, they, they, they're getting called up on Monday. Yeah. Guaranteed. It's almost a guarantee. They were going to get called up last year, but they but they didn't. Feel comfortable doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do a ladder match. We have a ladder match for the inaugural um, NXT inaugural. North American. Wait, you said inaugural. Inaugural. Um, but it's inaugural. but it's for the NXT North, North American. North American. Yeah. Why did they make it like a fucking boxing title? Um, yeah, I think it's kind of. I think it's like, 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 I think it's like a it. it's like a play on like the old school championships. Yeah. Like from the territory days. Yeah. So the participants in this match, like when the territories have like, uh, you know, the NWA World Championship, San Francisco edition, kind of like that. So when I was watching NXT, or the Texas edition, like they have the weirdest like. Yeah, right. When I was watching NXT last night, I noticed. Uh, I was well before I started watching. I was thinking, why did WWE do a ladder match this year at Mania? This now I watch NXT. This is the. They reason. might actually still do it. 
Because apparently Triple H is going to be pissed off because they have to be the main show is stealing yeah. their matches. Like, they're having this, the same match with Kevin and Sammy and Shane and Brian. They're having with Tommaso and, and Johnny Gargano. Basically the same and, story. Um, the same thing for that. The yeah. lot of match for the North American Championship. Is now the Tragic TLC match for the, for the yeah. SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Honestly, though, I, I do want to see that at Mania, though. I do. I, I do. That, 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 that's the one thing I would have like, slide is the. Like, I, it's kind of. You can tell it's a rip off, like they, the loser match is a yeah, rip off of the yeah, NXT, but like. Is it really a rip off, though, if it's in the, from the same company? It technically is, because they're ripping off of the developmental brand. I, lo- I, look at is it, the I look at it like this. Wrestling basically is a rip off business. Yeah. You rip off storylines. And Triple H isn't happy about it, but like, at the same time, yeah. I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, it's a rip I'm, off. I'm pretty it's pumped. A rip, that Triple H it's a rip off business, but they're going to claim live reactions. Yeah. Buzz. But, uh, fucking asshole! They claim live reactions. Bobby C, goddammit! Uh, Your notifications I, on my phone. Like, you know, I like the fact that they. I hope they do a triple threat tag match. Yes. Like smack because if you think well, it's like, it game. would just yeah, the tails game. Yeah. yeah. Tag Honestly, match. if you think about it, it's like your modern day Dudley's. That's what they see. Exactly like the the Bludger Brothers are the Dudley Boys. Yeah. I mean, and on, e- ENC is um New Day is New Day, just and like, then you the know. Hardys are know. Usos. Yeah. Because the Usos are technically high flyers. They are. Uh, the Hardys were high flyers. So remember, remember how I said. Remember how I said that they should have done this match with DIY and fucking revival and American Alpha. Yeah, that would have been fucking shit. Yeah, when Real I, fuck, American yeah. Alpha, I never, I never heard of them. Yeah, right. They fucking and then died. Then, no. They fucking died. The I was dead. Now. I was dead. Well, They're technically, technically dead. now it's it's uh. And now that's DIY. It's, it's American now. Alpha two point oh technically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. American, American Beta. Beta. With children. But anyhow, let's go through who was in this they last got, match. They got old, they got older black children. Uh, I, I, I want to talk about like one, one weird segment they did in NXT. They kept doing that. Yeah, he's still not really doing much. They kept doing like these segments they, back. They, they stuck like, on the pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dude, business. business. That, that, that pissed Zach off. Zach Ryder. 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 You said you, you, said you, 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 you said you watched NXT last week, right? No. Oh, you didn't? I thought you said you did. I didn't, I didn't watch it. Oh, they kept on the highlights. So basically, they kept announcing who's in the ladder match. I no, I did, see, I did see a little bit of that. Yeah. They kept doing like this weird nasty just, thing. Just announced the members. They kept doing like this weird nasty thing. Announced the, so, announced the last person, not the big name last. Yeah. Which the one, debut. Which one's the big name? The debut. Because he deserves I'll, to go I'll also, I also will announce the. So it's official. It's a returning because he's had. He had. He did reference that he was there before. Uh, uh, the, the man formerly known as Derek Bateman. I will not say his actual name. So we have Adam Cole, which is the point. Derek Bateman the third. <laughs> Could you imagine DB three? <laughs> Douchebag the third. <laughs> but anyhow, um. <laughs> We want four more years of douchebag! I did actually, no, I actually did watch it next I kind of, I caught it. They I kept the watch, but I forgot when I watched on the third day. Yeah. Isn't uh, it? They kept doing like these weird bags, they said with like Kathy Kelly, which kept going yeah. up to William. We was like, what? I, I wanted to see it, like, as I wanted to like watch it, it was actually good. Yeah. I actually really love EC3's theme song, because it fits him. It's weird because with, with EC3, it's like, he's bouncing back and forth between heel and baby face, like, yeah. in the segment, like, Pick it. Which one are you? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think he's probably going to be. But those two last, though. Yeah. Well, you already just kind of. Yeah. Well, yeah. then well, not last anyway. Second to last. Right. The other person who's going to. I want to. Do you want me to go to who was like a low on the total pole to the top then? Yeah. Debut on the Let me do it. I do it. Debut on the I do it. I want to see. So obviously, I don't even. I'm doing my reactions. Shut the fuck up. No, what am I? Um. Uh, I would say do Adam Cole first, but then put him yeah. down here and move that was me and then. Yeah, yeah. So okay. the debut one one goes last because I, I I want to say something about that. So we have Adam Cole who's pulling double duty. Killian Gain, Lars Sullivan, who hasn't seen on TV in like 345 <laughs> years. Um Velvet Team Dream. And then obviously we have the returning yeah. EC3. Pretty cool. Um which I actually wasn't expecting to have 
Because typically, uh, like with Drew, he didn't wrestle on NXT like right away. Yeah. Um, well, Bob, no, the most recent example, Bobby Roode, when he was when he was on NXT, he didn't wrestle until like the summer. Yeah, he did. Yeah, they signed. And that's kind of very fitting because he was just uh, right now at TNA, like what, just before he he was met a couple of weeks before. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously we have the debut in um, Ricochet. The only reason that oh I was, yeah. I was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As soon yeah, as let's as go! As soon as, I saw that, on, I, as soon as I saw that, I was yeah. like, I'm pumped. I'm pumped for Mania. <laughs> well, the takeover. Uh, the takeover, Mania yeah. weekend, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, I was like, when he said see you, see you in New Orleans, I was like, you will be seeing me in New Orleans. Yeah. Because I'll be watching from my home. Yeah. Watching you fucking win. You won't That's my thing. But he can't see you. Show. You'll be seeing him, but he can't I, see you. Yeah, exactly, because he can't see me. He won't see me, really. Johnson. That's my pick. That's my pick. Ricochet is my pick. I fucking love Ricochet. He's one of my favorites. I fucking love Ricochet. So for me, such a beast. I, for me, when I look at these matches, I apparently think... he's gonna be a huge, massive monster mega push right out of the, right out of the gates. Maybe he wins the North American Championship. He's the first on his debut. Yeah. I, I, I hope that happens. For me, I'm gonna take when I look at like multi-man matches. I like to eliminate first, so I don't think he's gonna win. Or after what Lars Sullivan after his. I'm gonna say Adam Cole. <laughs> I actually, I think he probably would have won had Fish not gotten those. Probably, yeah, probably yeah, yeah. But now yeah. they have to alter their plan. Yeah, probably. and then um, I think they're probably gonna break a sheet anyway. Yeah, but I'm saying Adam Cole, he down would, down. Adam Cole would have uh, been in contention to win though had yeah. Bobby Fish not gotten those. EC3, I think EC3 should just be in the main event. I think he's just in this match for name value. Yeah, but I think after. Almost is out of the title picture. Go pick. He's supposed to be with Black for the NXT. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Killian Dane. I'm gonna say no. Although I, 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 I think I could. Although I could see him. Although I actually. Why is Anderson a one and two? Even though they have no chance. Even though it doesn't make sense because I feel like he has made a main guy. I could also see him going right as he wins the North American Championship and then he's feuding with Almas or somebody. But I feel like that would be a little weird considering like. You know, a like, former Impact champion, a former NXT champion, and now fighting for a main card belt. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Plus, plus two. Uh, so they both they both kind of seem they they would have, I think have like a weird altercation because I know he's he's supposed to be a face, but he acts so fearless. It would just yeah, be a, yeah, it, it, would, it would be off. Yeah. Would yeah. Be off. But was, so yeah, Killian Gate I think is out because I I don't know what's happened with Sandy yeah. after. Well, Sullivan because of. I just think I think they're definitely pissed at him because he has been on NXT yeah. in a few weeks, and obviously that post just shit to me. Where he said he, he could do better than you. I think they're pissed at him. Yeah, that's that's how you think. They all what? Because he's speaking the truth. That's what he wouldn't. He would fail in New Japan. No, he wouldn't. Either. Yes, he would. He would be in the fucking Bullet Club. He'd be fucking joining with Tonga, 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 Lola. He would not be in the Bullet Club. He would if he fail. wasn't, he's not gonna fucking fail. Yeah, he failed. That he would not succeed in New Japan. He, yeah, yeah, and then he wasn't just big and scary. Never openweight champion. Yeah. He could definitely succeed in. He'd get I don't, I don't, I don't see them as much as he's dumb on Folly. He has a role in that, in that, in that, in that stable. I will say this about Folly. I did say because if he's in the stable, they could hide his weaknesses. Yeah, true. You can't hide his hide his, his his role is he's the big yeah. man. You can kick ass. Lost Sullivan just wouldn't fit in that stable. No, he would not fit. Braun Strowman fits better in that stable. Yeah, well, yeah. He would fit. Braun Strowman's Braun Strowman. Yeah, Lost Sullivan would fall flat on his face in New Japan. Um, and then obviously, so obviously it's down to for me, Velveteen Dream, EC3, and Lost Sullivan. Not Lost Sullivan, Ricochet. Um. Let's say who. Let's say who, who it is. Let's say who it is. I'm gonna say uh, it's probably like a dark horse pick, but just because of how much um, he won over the fan stuff, Velveteen Dream. Um, oh shit. Just because I think Ricochet should chase should, should, should chase for the championship. He should I can see some fucking killer matches and a few between Velveteen and fucking Ricochet. Oh my god. I think he should win it in a one-on-one. Oh, that'd be fucking. I think it. I think he should be built up to win the title versus just winning in his first night. I think that would. True. I think that would add injury to it more. Yeah, true. Yeah. I, I agree with that. And I feel like, uh, dude, so you, like you would have, add, you like, have some epic matches with Velveteen and fucking uh, Ricochet. Ricochet. And yeah. And so I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Velveteen. I would have said Cole, but Cole if Fish got him, didn't get hurt. But I'm gonna say, it's, it's, I think Ricochet's gonna win now. Honestly, yeah. like it's. Watch Adam Cole still win. 
Oh, yeah. It's Adam. I, I'm not. I'm not. All right, now you got it. Now you got to go. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, all right. So who 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 was it swing for you? Um, you see, let me guess. You, see you can only pick one. A, you can only pick one. But no, I know. Well, who's in the swing for you? Oh, so it is the same. Ricochet and uh, Velveteen Dream. But you said that we're in third, right? Easy three. Yeah. Easy three. Yeah. Easy three. Oh, we all have different picks. I like that. Yeah. I, I, I why easy three? Just I'm. I say easy three because I feel like that, that's like an, that's kind of like a, an underdog. It, it is like, an underdog. Like a, yeah. Pick, yeah. So it's like you know, but like wow. not like an out of nowhere pick. Either. Just, yeah. Yeah. I thought my pick would have been out of nowhere. Velveteen Dream. I thought it was a shot. I thought it was like a shot no, no, no. for that. Because the way you the way you made your case, uh, it makes yeah. sense. Um, but DC three, it's so like got a lot of people. Let's get the bad match out of the way. Does this match kind of be the worst match on the show? Ember Moon. I really don't care. I don't care. Shayna Baszler, not Shayna Baszler. We got. Oh, yeah, 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 no, she don't shine. I'm like <laughs> she don't shine. I I I love. Can this. I rant about the NXT Women's Division? Yes. What please. the fuck happened to it? <laughs> it's like. Do you know what happened? Dead. You know what happened to it? Everyone's up with the main roster. Yeah. That's what happened. No, no, no. Here's the fucking issue I have. They have fuck. Let's talk about the fucking talent they signed. They got Lee. Dakota Kai, Rhea Ripley, Kansas fucking Lee. Lacey Evans. All of them who are ten times better than fucking this piece of shit. You know Shana why? Shayna sucks. You know, you know. She's fucking terrible. You know why Shayna Baszler is there? Because he gets deeper. Yeah. That's the reason why she's there. So yeah, but Ronda Rousey was like way more successful than Shayna Baszler ever could be, and ever was. By I, the way. I mean, right now, Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey. Bro, this Ronda bitch couldn't even maintain a fucking strike force champion for the champion. Ronda Rousey long. right now has me, has won me over. Yeah, I was a, I was a big detractor of Ronda Rousey, as you guys know, but she, she won me over. Yeah. Um, she's definitely she, with with Shayna Baszler. It's not like Shayna Baszler sucks. No, they it, say this only thing actually, you got going for you, you was that RK yeah, Ronda Rousey is super. actually ridiculously good. Like they say, like down in the performance center is like she looks like a natural. So yeah, whereas with so, like Shayna Baszler, you can tell she can't go more than two minutes. Yeah. Let's she talk about. I want to talk about awful. So, she has that one stomp to the arm that they that Amber Moon sells for fucking thirty five years, and yeah, then they did that to the code of Khan, making her look like a fucking bitch. See the thing too about that, I hate that woman championship match with a burning passion because Amber Moon. Hits the eclipse with the other arm and yeah. sells the injury. Yeah. And then, and then and then you're on the mat for five minutes writhing in pain. And then obviously I'm like, what are you doing? Pin her. You should finish her. Speaking of doing, I got a question. Why is Shayna Baszler the one being pushed? If she's the if they're gonna she was she was second place. Second place in the Mayan Classic. The winner of the Mayan Classic got dropped out by her. Has been in this. Should have been a goddamn contender, not a part of some random fatal four. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and for her to not even get at all. So basically, anything. so basically, that's it. That's a shit. That's a shit on the young's name because it meant nothing. Because she looked like absolute dog shit in that four way match. Yeah, she can't do multi woman matches. Uh, she can't. Yeah. For fucking, she's terrible in, in multi woman matches. That's not her fault. She fucking was. And that's not her fault. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can Honestly, the poor. So, three, so three, how many times did Kyrie see Bosch in that? That match? Travis, there's, and there's, and she was putting a one match. The one on one match. That is not her fault. That yeah. is solely on the people that booked that match. The the point of developmental. Develop the weaknesses that they fucking have. So when they 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 for the main roster, they're ready to compete in, I don't know, something like a multi one match. But no, instead you're like, oh, we're gonna put her in there because she won the main on, she's got a lot of meat, only because only for it to be killed right off the bat. I agree with that. And now you give the fucking second place winner yeah. a fucking chip chip. Why? Because she she injured a few people because she's an asshole? And then, and then, and then on top of that, the she has the worst fucking match in NXT Women's matches. Period. Can I don't I, care what anyone fucking says. Yeah. Summer Rae can work better than this fucking garbage shit. Okay. She did. And she did. She did. Can I tell you a couple? Eva Marie did too. Can I say like a couple? Like, like, at, at, at least, at least, like at least, at least I get Eva Marie to go for the try. Eva tried. tried. She really did try. Yeah, like, Shayna is like, not like, fucking trying. Shayna doesn't give. Obviously, a couple more points. Emma Moon did like a promo this week talking about how Shayna Baszler started this crap. I'm like, no, she, no, she didn't. You called the bitch out. What are you talking and about? Then you challenged her. Yeah, but it's awful. You're making Emma look stupid. So you're making, bad, like, you're making, 
I just don't get it. Like Ember looks stupid. Shayna looks. Uh, I keep. Uh, no one can fucking care less. Yeah. And the people that pe uh, that they absolutely genuinely want to care for, people like Dakota Kai, people like Kari Sane, people like Rhea Ripley, people like fucking, you know, Lacey Evans. We can job out in two minutes. We can fucking job out in two minutes. No, not even like thirty seconds. Like th this is the state of your fucking division now. A whole fucking tournament of like world class a world class athletes. Where the, where the fuck is uh what's what's a fucking what's a fucking name that does the hair work? What the fuck she did? Oh Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair. Where the in, fuck is she did? Having enhancement matches. Where the fuck is Billy Kay and fucking Peyton Royce? You know what Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, Royce especially being actually good. Do you know what Billy Kay and Peyton Royce have been? She size the boot job. They're get, fucking get, get from that now. Get new tits. Yeah. They're heels from that now. What, what, oh, you know what I want to wait about too? Them new teams. Selena Vega gets attacked by Candice LeRae for basically no reason in that contest. So, yeah, and let's talk about that too. You actually got a good teams. work. You actually she have a good worker in Candice LeRae. And also, for those who don't know, a really good worker in Selena Vega. You can easily make a match with these two. Well, that was easily. Ways. And it would be now. 10 yeah. times fucking better you, than the Shane Vega. You know what made me mad? Was when. Uh, Candice already thought she had had enough. Yeah. When she came around to go attack Targato again. Yeah. But what happened like five minutes before was she gave him a hurricane mine onto the steps? Yeah. You know, where, where, where were you then? You know, can I, I always, that's what you would know where to be found. Can I say even more, more stupid point? She got mad that her husband was kicked off NXT, so she attacked the Lena Vega. She doesn't go attack Tommaso Chubb, the guy that actually cost her his job. Well, I get, well, no, well, here's the deal though. At least it makes more sense that Shayna Baszler just getting the fucking title match because she can. Because here's the deal. At least, at least story behind but, it. Though. Right, right. Yeah, still. exactly. But say, why do you have to Selena Vega talks to Selena Vega talks to shit. Probably Candice Lorraine is like, well, if. I can't take my aggression out on Tommaso, I'm gonna take out my anger on somebody. So she decided on fucking the bitch who's I kinda like what they it did with Alex and Black and Candace LeRae. It, it makes more sense. It makes more sense. Like, it makes more uh, sense than this fucking bitch being inserted into a fucking title program because the champion calls her out. I like I like that they did on NXT later recently, where yeah. it was like they had Alice for Black and Selena Vega on the ring. By the and way, Alistair they, gets slapped by Zelina, yes. and then Alistair goes, you might have come along, but I didn't. Yeah. And then out comes Candice Lurie to beat the shit out of Zelina Vega. Oh, I, I absolutely love that segment. It was yeah. awesome. For the record, I did love the second I also want to say this. Advice. She attacked Zelina Vega. At the end of the day, like, I'm hoping to get fucking released and never make it to the main roster, because at that point, all you will be fucking remembered for is an RKO version of the goddamn Sleeper Hold, which is all you're good for. And looking at the dude. Team up with Randy Orton or Baron Corbin. You know, they're, they're perfect for you. So th there's a difference now. So with, with Sonya Deville and Shayna Baszler. Say the well, Sonya Deville actually tries. She actually, she's actually gotten better. Yeah. Sonya she Deville was, tries. She's actually so gotten better. She was Shayna Deville. So Shayna Baszler doesn't give a fuck. She, she was fucking green, green, greener than green, and now she we got, she's gotten way better. I don't. I, and you know what? I can't even blame. Yeah. I can't. I, I can blame NXT for the whole bullshit. I will blame WWE main roster for this. Fuck you for rating the talent pool of fucking NXT. Because now we're left with this shit for this division. Why fuck the WWE? Why fuck the main roster? It's about mental system. Because it's got the main roster. It's on it. And Alexa Bliss and Bailey Rose on it. You can't go wrong with that. What do you want to go back to? Tits and ass? Yes. You want to go back to Tits and ass? Um, that's really what you want. Right? Uh, that's I'm, that I'm, class I'm, I'm, I'm not sure you see. Oh, who's that? I don't know who that is. That, that's Wait, that that way, you way, you say that they should have shot me out. Oh. Fuck you, by the way. By the way, uh, really, yeah, it hey, 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 guess it. By the way, guess who wasn't invited on the new round table? So let's just call it Amber Moon. Amber Moon. Okay, so we're all agreeing to Amber Moon. Don't even give a fuck, Amber Moon. I, I said Shayna Baszler. No, 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 it's not Amber Moon. I'm just going to go with Amber Moon. Okay. Are we all going to ask you to answer? No, you're, you're, you're Amber Moon, too. Oh. You're Envy. No, I'm going to do uh, the man that probably Moon. won't meet event, but no, the man that will meet event, but I think shouldn't meet event, and that's the NXT. Nothing against the match, it's just the story. Yeah, Alex Dyer or Blue. Alex or Blue. Versus. Um, Alex or Blue. Addy Sterbook. Alex or Blue. Andrade Cianomas. 
I'm really looking forward to this match. I don't know if you saw like the attack on Alma Tiro. Yeah, the palace of Black and the his clothes off. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's why I get his clothes off. Like the code of to have a match and then like the Chibani Sien always just beat this shit. I love it too. I'm like, well, like, oh, let me hear something going on backstage. Like, you can fucking hear it from where you're sitting on the soundstage. <laughs> I hear something. They're like, you're fucking super. Do you hear through walls no more? <laughs> no, 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 wait. Like, what? I got it one. He said he was being told something was being going on backstage. I guess. I was like, like I'm hearing this. What do you fucking. You can hear through walls what's going on. Like um, how Cody Rhodes does this, like with his ear, like up his ear. And that's and actually. Uh, the camera, like, goes. That's my family. Can what? I tell you? Well, Alright, got you. Yep. Make sure you smile <laughs> the camera. Got it. Can I tell you the funny thing is it the smiling? Oh, you know, I gotta I guess it's kinda of funny. I bet the real thing that uh happened with like uh when they were being told it was like Triple H who wanted the thing like oh cut to backstage, cut to backstage. Just like yeah, cut, yeah. Cut, cut. Sloppy cut, yeah. cut. Anyway, by the by the way, I wanna say this before we by the way, yeah, I, you can't the, uh, the superstars big in their entrance now, they can't slap fans with uh, hands with the fans anymore. Why? Because their entrance is no, but they're on the main roster. Because you know why? Because their entrance is too long. Yeah. They can do it on house shows, though. But yeah. like what? on television, they can't. No, they will go to the ring and slap hands. It's like a run around. Yeah. yeah. She's like the only one who can do it now. Why? Because their entrance is taking way too long, apparently. It makes no sense. I don't know. Why. It just, it just, I just thought of that. But I was gonna ask a question. Um, Th that's how come the NXT like that? I would I would have thought the reason would be because Alexa Bliss got her ass slapped by Q. No, it's not. But no, if this is the reason. No, that was at a house show, so they can do whatever the fuck they want at house shows. So I'm saying so they can, can keep grabbing Alexa Bliss. Yeah, more I would. It. I would. More power to it. You fucking kidding me? I would. Um, I'm sitting fucking front row. I'm. Yeah. Give me it. Give me it. Whoa. That looked like you figured. Like you figured motion. Yeah. But anyhow, um. Give me it. She might like her, who knows? If you fucking do that, you kill someone. You fucking get bailed in the finger, dude. That's not how you finger. A finger like this. No, we're not like this. <laughs> not like this. You got not LeBron Strowman. I'm like, bro! You got a Jeff Hardy. Whoop! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. But anyhow, <laughs> oh yeah, you mean slap the pussy, <laughs> slap the pussy, slap the pussy. But anyhow, let's get back to Zelina Vega and Alistair Black, and yeah. Uh, so, um, Alistair Black, because Alistair Black's fucking amazing. Alistair Black, Alistair Black. Why is there always like a random water with cooler with ice backstage? And like, how come it's so small back there? And why is that? Like, it's, it's, hey, you know how like, ropes, they don't get glitched in it like they do in the WWE K18? On the ropes of bouncing? It's good to me. It's, it's good, good to me. me. Now everybody listen. Uh -uh. To me. My name is Armando Alejandro. Alejandro. Oh, oh my god! You just parked your ass and shut the fire hole! Fuck you. You have some news to tell on him. By the way, if you didn't already see it. No, wait, wait, wait. Did you see it already? Off off hey, camera. not off camera, on camera. They're doing this shit now. Uh, hey, uh, can you let us back, please? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I got food. Thanks. Can you let us back in? No. No. I don't want to be back yet. <laughs> wait, what? Go back in? Shh. Fucking don't have to shut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't. When I beat John Tully to become the undisputed after shot. You're not on camera. Champion. You're not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, John, tell you because right now I'm just no. sit there in the fucking chair. <laughs> um, not well, like that. Yeah. He's stretching. <laughs> so, Steve, Steve, you're I just got a way question to you. Are you willing to defend the championship at NXT Takeover New Orleans? Then I am willing to defend against the championship against you. Chris. I already, already. And if you wish, James. Not James. I've already, I, I, I've have already, I, I won't get my opportunity okay. already. Not James. I, I, I told him not really. I'm not watching the show alive. No fuck. All right. I will defend against Owen. It's my rematch anyway, so. It's yeah, so they, yeah. It's going to be so, it. it. All right, so are we right. back then? Is that the No, it's not. No. This Wait. Is, I have We're not back. changed the name of my title. I am no longer one half of the disputed Aftershock Corner champion. I am the. First ever, because you didn't see the actual first ever on camera because we lost it. 
wrestling rundown champion, Steve motherfucking Stein. What? So is the, James is confused about what's going on with the, the after sheet. Because you have the power to bring us back. You have the power to bring us back. Oh, James. Oh, you've just been tomahawked. That's what we do on the wrestling rundown. When the fuck oh. was this a thing? <laughs> so wait, what? Wait, what? You've just been, you just been Brittany Virgil. Uh, oh. Oh. Whoa! 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 Is this on camera? camera? Oh yeah, Phil Knights. <gasps> They're a team, by the way. Team. I know the thing. I already knew the A team! A team, yes. I am on a team with Brittany. Wait, so what the... So what do you mean? Is that the name of this show now? Or the team. What? No. I'm it's, confused now. This has just been overtaken. And this is now the wrestling rundown. Let me, I call the shots now. Okay, great. It's a wrestling rundown. Can you bring us back? No. And my first three signees are James Siebert, Owen Finch, Chris Tong. Yay! Yeah, I'm so off them! Yes! <laughs> yeah, I'm a Chris Daw in here. So basically, the friend has to. So basically, this the aftershock going to turn into the mind down. So what's happening? So we're what? We're ditching the aftershock part? This is now. We're actually, I'm liking it better. Wow, we just want to throw like a whole thing. And after I meet Joe Cuddy, I own his championship. I will now own, I will say, I will now own the aftershock one. Oh. And when I do Oh, it, oh, I get it. I, I get it. I actually like the rest I'm going to bury my competition. I actually do. We that actually makes sense because John is technically the aftershock corner. Mm -hmm. If you think of it, John's technically the aftershock corner because he has the championship. Yeah. We're the wrestling rundown. I love it. So why did you? Well, yeah, but it's not like John's is better than a few did. When I beat John Kelly, I own the aftershock corner and I am burying it. So basically, when you so so you just gave the ownership to John basically. Yeah, brothers. And then. Um, if you beat John, you have the ownership. I do. So basically, that's made official. So right now, John has a peg to put his badge on camera. <laughs> well, either way, no, no, either way, we're brought back anyway. He already uh, brought uh, us uh, back, uh, regardless of who wins. So the rest of us down. In this group. This Unless John Tunney wins, then it's the aftershock. It's not the rain 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 rain. Back. This is the new the New World Order. This is the aftershock World Order. With Hollywood Heber. <laughs> I get these ones. What, what about the bird? Am I Coco? Is it Coco? Is Coco beware the weather? It's no, he's he's he was he's NWO stun. <laughs> so what's no, NWO stun? What's NWO bird guy? I'm gonna stun you. I just huh? NWO the bad guy. You should take the dude, you should just take the quarter of our AWO stung says I just stung your ass. But anyhow, once I own the empty shot corner and John comes to a wrestling right now inevitably, he will be labeled the poncho man. <laughs> and I'm going to require him to wear a poncho every show. Oh. You hear that? You're wearing a poncho from now on. The poncho man. Since, since, you want, since she won the show, that means you have to pick all the top, you have to do all the setup for it. I don't have to do any of that anymore, so good luck with that. Oh yeah, by the way, I just hired you to do setup. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you even say that at first place? Are we gonna go out of You place? fucked yourself on that one, yeah. bro. Well, <laughs> good. I brought food. But anyhow, so, so since I'm facing you for the belt, it's still gonna work the same way where you pick first because if I pick first, so whatever you do, do what so you're just gonna pick first. We already went through the NXT predictions, I'm not gonna say mine. Also, to say that if we have uh, two belts on the wrestling rundown, one will be pay-per-view only, one will be a television title. 
How do we pick TV though if we don't know who's wrestling? If you know a match, can, can we have an indie championship since I? Oh no! You know what I just realized? Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna say. We have like an indie type of title since I don't watch it now, right. or I only watch indies now. Is it gay? So I'm, I'll, I'll be the first inaugural. All right, so all right, so uh, I'll, I'll ask you for next week for uh, <laughs> the new Darren Young match. Oh no, I'm not gonna say. Legacy for Darren Young. He's he's the first openly great wrestler. I'm not gonna predict the same card. He's the greatest, the greatest, fucking great. So yeah, great. he can take over the New Orleans. Yep. All right, Nate, say the card. I'm giving my prediction. I'm not going to say it was NXT because you, you know, like, the uh, ladder match? No, uh, this is the NXT Tag Team Championship match. Oh, I know it's NXT. Yes. The winner of that match will be the makeshift team of Roger Strong and he's done. Okay, I picked them. I picked them. I picked them. Yeah. Both. So I picked Undisputed Era, so that's one. Two, 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 two. Well, yeah, but three. this is only me, this is only me and Steve. All right. Unless you, unless you guys are having a match or something, but. I know we really right, need so, yeah. power. I'll just run down. So Roger Strong and Pete Dunne, Alistair Black, Shayna Baszler, Ricochet, Tommaso Ciampa, and am I missing anything? Uh, no. no. So I guess I'll say I'll say mine. I was Black, and then so I, was, I would. Uh, yeah. I, probably, I was gonna pick Gargano, but now I'm probably gonna have Ciampa because it would make me. Well, actually, no, because Red. if they if Johnny Gargano wins, that you continue. Yeah. So here's my. Either way, it'd be interesting. So my picks. Uh, um, new NXT champion Alistair Black. Unfortunately, New NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler. Uh, still NXT Tag Team Champions, The Undisputed Era, and the winner of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Um, dark horse pick, but obviously, yeah, Double Team Green. I picked, I picked EC3, you picked, um, Ricochet. Ricochet. So, that's my team. You guys know some of my signs of me, so. You guys know Johnny Rockets, the hamburger joint? Yeah. Yeah. So I printed out that logo, but I made it Johnny Wrestling. Oh, yeah. that's fucking great. I took a picture of Rock up from Street Fighter and put Shane Blazer's face on it. Yes! Yes! What you Absolutely. Dude, you got it, dude. Where what row are you sitting in for that? Um, are you on are you on the TV camera side? Because if you are, I'm going like to search for that side. That's how you get the full wrestling game. You, you might actually never see me because I should be in the corner. Did, so when I didn't, I didn't, Dave I didn't even do that when he went to WrestleMania last year. He went to WrestleMania Access. I'm like, that's not even like... If I went, if I was going to go to WrestleMania Week, I'd be I'm fucking... Hall of NXT. I'd do Hall of Fame NXT. I'd do Hall of Fame NXT. I'd do Hall of Fame NXT. I was able to do it. And then... I'd go any shows too, man. I'd go to... Ring of Honor, and I'd probably, if I was to go live, I'd probably see WrestleMania live. I would Next year, I would go, no, I'd probably leave them like James, I understand your frustration like, with wrestling, and that's why I'm at your opinion. But next year, considering WrestleMania is in New York, I might, I, 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 Even I might, you're not going to go to WrestleMania. I'm going to go, no, I'll, I'll watch WrestleMania if I can go to New York live, but yeah. I'm, not, I'm not watching it off of the Because I know you're pissed, but when you go to WrestleMania live, you, you feel it, so. I, I definitely would love to, uh, if they're going to do what they do in New York, uh, what they're doing in New York for New Orleans, I probably would like to go to like, one of our shows there. But well, at, the they same, at the same time, though, if they, they do what they did tonight, how are you going to pick between the water and the. Did I tell them? Did you have to run? No, how are you going to pick between the water and the. We have to choose between one or the other because they're not at the same time. Wait, I thought the water was. I forgot to say the best part of the wrestling run. Oh, right. so yeah, the you have to start going to have a format. The wrestling run that has no format. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's better. It is Way absolute better. chaos. Uh, you, you, you want to know the funny you part? The we were trying to fix the fucking fucking name of the show, so you want to just make this wrestling. Like, this yeah, is yeah, a wrestling right. rundown. We're awesome! We got a name. And we got a wrestling yeah. rundown. The rambling hour, and we're we'll both past an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. So the first hour was the uh, random. See, in my beta version, I was considering calling it the Wrestling Random. Wrestling <laughs> <laughs> Random. Down a little too racist, so. Yeah. We all ran damn a Hey, now, let me say my picks, though. So, uh, you. The Wrestling All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so you picks, we got we to gotta, we gotta go after the save picks. We're going to do Mania picks. We're going to do Mania. That's what I'm saying. So, Maniac. Alistair That's Black Maniac. wins the NXT Championship. Shayna Baylor wins the Women's Title. Uh, still NXT Tag Team Champions on the Speed Era. Um, first ever North American champion, Velveteen Dream, 
and I didn't get to do my prediction because we didn't get to this match yet. I'm going to say winner, Johnny Gargano. I know he would get called yeah, up like a main loss. So I'm that. I don't want to hear from the rest of the You guys should have come to. I ordered 10 boxes of these. Yeah, but yeah. You should, you should have come. Reasons. Because <laughs> I didn't want to go all the way to Orlando. I'm afraid I'm going to run into Shady City and look at you guys. Okay. Oh, that's I, a lot. Uh, I'll tell you later off there. You know, I, I was kind of I was kind of busy. I had fucking like 10 people. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I should have called and just done the whole. <laughs> this is Hunter Hurst Helmsley out in the cockpit. I'm still <laughs> still <laughs> <with the cockpit. laughs> I still remember when we did the first ever live reactions. We did the Summer Slam one. This is when I did the Facebook Live and you commented and you were like, Hey, why are you calling me here, you asshole? Yeah. I wonder if I still get. I wonder if that was the video that I got. I was camping. Oh, yeah. I think we were, but. Um, now let's do WrestleMania predictions. I won't really break down. I was camping. Summer Slam predictions. Summer Slam Alright, so I'm going to say John's first. Because John gets the first pick since John's not here. He sent me his picks. Oh, um, okay. No. See, he planned for that. So, Steve, this, um, for the what battle I'm royals, we can pick. We can pick two. All right. Men's Woken Matt and Zap Rider. That's this is John's pick, not mine. Uh, this is because the army of the giant battle royal means nothing. So. Is it the wire? The women's, the first, apparently this is the first ever women's I, wrestle battle royal. Uh oh. Oh. It's a kind of wrestling. Get out of here with that bullshit. Oh. And that's how Chris lost his hair, so I'm not locked it. God. <laughs> <laughs> we finally found King Pip Reason. Yes. I didn't go to have no hair. Great. Oh, yeah, and by the way, so we're all in agreement. If Chris loses at WrestleMania, he has to go ball. Oh, he's not betting. Okay. Oh, how about this? Oh, oh, I lose. Oh, how about this? If I lose a customer, I'll shake my head ball and keep keep the beard in my No, no. Yeah, I mean, if I lose, I don't have to do anything. If you lose, you have to fucking jerk off and then fucking hey, do your that's a full crotch. Yeah, I was listening. I, I like that. I thought you said that's a full crotch. Yeah, full crotch. Yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute, what the hell is going on? A thousand full crotches. <laughs> on occasion, on the wrestling rundown, I do think there will be a few hey, baby, repercussions for losing. Hey, I Steve, do that. you just like go I'll do my room if I change my room. I'll change my room. I would never want to get penetrated by my tomahawk. Let's go. We may. Can you come here a sec? Give me my tomahawk. I have you. Is that how you and Brittany got together? You're just like, hey, baby, you want to get penetrated by my tomahawk? Hey, I'll show you how I'll do it, but I'm going to run away, like, send me the bill. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that was a thing. But anyhow, so uh, yeah, now, now I, if I lose, so if I shadow box is gonna be different. So if I lose, so so if I do lose that WrestleMania, I will shave my head bald and keep the beard and the mustache. Well, then you look like the Macho Champa. Oh yeah. shit! I will oh, never shit. talk to you again. I don't even know if I'd recognize him the next day. I won't do it the next day. I'll do it like I'll do it the when like Wednesday. Yeah, maybe. All right, so all right, so let's do the predictions. Wait, 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 men's wait. battle royal. My John's got to do, do his. No, John's first. Because John's 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 wait a minute. No, uh, John's, gonna just, just, John's gonna go first because he's actually the aftershock corner champ. But we don't know who's gonna be the champion going into that match. So we'll both still pick, but one of our picks isn't gonna count because <clears> depending on what happens at table. We'll go. We'll go each like. Yeah. We'll have we'll run down Sean's predictions. Yeah, and then Steve will go, and then I'll go, and then you'll go, and then I'll go, and then I'll go, and then I'll go. And then I'll then we'll go. We talk about going to the bathroom. We talk about all right. So I'm not going to go through. Was in the We're coming. Day. Nobody can stop us. Nobody can hold us. No one controls us. Please, We're please. coming. Oh fuck! Yeah, that, that's funny. Um, so uh, let's go over who's in. Well, let's go over John's picks. And the Martian. And the Martian. Um, so uh, we have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. You can just look up who's in it. I'm not going to go through it in detail. My prediction. Wait, no, John close. I'm going to read John's picks all at once. Okay. So we have the and you can pick two for the Battle Royals. So and they pick Logan, Matt, and Zach. Yeah. And then the women's he picked Bailey and Sasha. For the Cruiserweight title match, he picked Cedric Alexander. For the United States Championship match, he picked Bobby Roode. 
for the intercontinental championship match, he picks Ken Gallup. For the Raw Tag Team title match, he picks Braun Strowman as his mystery partner. For the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, he picked the Bludgeon Brothers. For the Raw Women's title match, he picked Nia Jax. For the SmackDown Women's title match, he picked Asuka. For the next tag, he picked uh, Angle and Ronda Rousey. For uh, the actual like tag match on the show where Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn lose, they lose. No, they stay fired. If they win, they get their jobs back on SmackDown. Um, as if that was a thing that they lost, they, and if they won, they were still fired. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, but, so John picked that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are going to win and stay fired. Um, They're going to win and stay fired? Yep. Um, That's how it should be. And then, grammar. Um, for the WWE Championship match, he picked Shinsuke Nakamura, and for Shinsuke. the uh, WWE Universe Championship match, Shinsaki. Shinsaki. Or as Michael, Michael, Michael Cole likes to call him, Shin. But yeah, for the WWE Universe title match, he picked Roman Reigns. So you, who's going to go first, me or you? I don't want to just go one after the other. I'll, okay. I'll say one, then you say one. So I'm not. So I'll go through the actual code now. So All right. So from the Andre the Oh, the free show I didn't mention. If we tie the free show match, or oh, so since it's main edge, the free show count against us this time. Yeah. Um, we'll change that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The free show will matter this time since. Uh, well, it's the wrestling rundown. It's a back color shots. Oh yeah. So you'll be seeing that soon enough. It's awesome. It looks fucking cool. What? Wait, so that looks like Wait, a that's just a sneak peek of what it like what it's like right now. Well, so that's a gesture hat, you know what I'm thinking? Bane comes up dressed up like the Joker. Uh, he needs to do something different. He he had he hasn't said anything about Demon Gala, which makes me think yeah. well, a lot of people are saying he's not because they kinda of dropped it because he didn't do it at Survivor Series and he didn't do it at the Royal Well League. he should he, he should fucking dropped it. They're stupid. No. He shouldn't do it every paper. He, he shouldn't do it. It should be for like Mania. Mania yeah. and SummerSlam. Man, because he was in the Royal Rumble, like, yeah. why would he do it for the Royal Rumble? He's, if he was in a championship match, then I'd say, yeah. Like, fine, like, do, like, do, the, the, do the gimmick, but, like... But I guess that Cruiserweight title, because, uh, um... Oh, yeah, fun fact. Conor McGregor's in jail. Yes, he, he is. He is. That's funny. Who is? Conor McGregor. Yeah. Well, I guess he, he won't be winning. Yeah. But I'll say this. With the Cruiserweight title match, it's on the pre-show. show. It's on the pre-show. Pre I feel like yeah. Conor would go to Mike's... The problem with that is what match can you take off for the Cruiserweight title? Because then what happens? Are you going to put the SmackDown tag title match on the kickoff? Or it's you fine. I like the way this. Like, the Cruiserweight is still getting exposure regardless. Yeah. Um, Jeff Meacher from 32 basically talked about getting rid of like matches on the kickoff. Do it like how they did at Festival of the Battles, but a pre show with like all day long. Then you have the actual matches themselves. Like, oh, yeah. Like, it's just like one continuous show. So yeah. Like, is the free show and he is the regular show. Like, it's just WrestleMania. He said kind of how football breaks it down. Have like the free show like the night before with the Super Bowl and then. Well, one thing I didn't like, right? Is this is different, but there's so much talk in this show right on matches. Yeah. So Monday Night Raw, you know how they did that like little press conference sketch with um, Steph to play Star Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. should do a full on press conference with every match on Thursday before Mania since nothing goes on that day anyway except access. Yeah. Remember they so, yes, they never do press conferences. Does anybody like, remember, just, like, uh... They never do press like, conferences. But, like, well, they, were they did it for 14. Yeah. They lost it. No, they do you, Sean got a battery through it out. Oh, no. They do it for me. Do you remember, uh, at, like, at WrestleMania 30 or 31, they did, like, those, not press conferences, but, like, those, like, free shows where, like, they should, yeah. they should do, like, that, and then have, like, the free, have, like... But anyhow... Yeah, they do, like, that one conference. Like, the peep show. Was it? Yeah. No, but, no, on, well, let's, well, let's go over the matches at WrestleMania. Do I need to really say who's in the Andre the Battle Royal? No, Steve. Andre the Battle Royal? Yeah. Andre the Battle yeah. Royal. Yeah. My pick is the ghost of Andre the Giant. No, no. Speaking of the ghost of Andre the Giant, it's on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday on HBO. I'm picking Matt this Tuesday. Matt Hardy. Hardy. My picks. Welcome Matt Hardy up for everyone. Um, yeah. My picks for the Andre the Battle Royal are two. Are two? Yes. <laughs> Samoa Joe. Okay. And. Matt so yeah, we'll get Nat's one of my picks. Now let's be honest, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just going to protect you from taking out Wash. Yeah. We'll not be watching that. Uh, that's we, we got a third pick, Rob. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Rob Kirk Jones. We'll take Tom Brady. Football tackles everyone. Yeah, question. Who's going to be this? No, no, no. Yeah, you know, no. Sense. Even if Gronkowski enters. It would be in the main field. You know why? You know why? No, Gronkowski is going to lose because he'll get injured. Wasn't it? Was it the regional last year? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was. It was. Yeah, it was. I will say this, though. I think Gronkowski, even if he's injured, will lose. You know why? Because he'll get injured in the match. <laughs> it's like every time he's so close to the Super Bowl, he gets fucking injured. Except for this year. Yeah, the, and this yeah, year it was just everybody else's fault. Yeah, it was. So they, I don't think it was a fault. I mean, I mean, it's not, like, he's not like a surprise. Yeah. But like, I'm talking like actual surprise entrance. There yeah. probably wouldn't be any because it's on the Brady show. Like, the like the one in, um, in Dallas was Shaq. Yeah. Like Shaq and DDP, like, because that was on the main show. Yeah. I would say the the Taco randomly just showed up. I saw that. I pointed that out. I was like, "What the fuck is the oh, fuck are you doing there?" It's perfect. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna say this. Do it. Do it. Do it. I know like the two like. The <laughs> <laughs> I know they like those. I know Manning. Just, like, just walk into the ring with his tall hat. Just go. Now people get a cow. <laughs> the fuck is an Indian next door? Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna say this though. I'll add like a band of minutes. They usually put like a band of minutes. You've been to like, 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 yeah, a big guy in one Yeah, yeah. You know, the Giant Royal Battle, but last year. Scorpion with a tomahawk. Get over here! But see, would you say you pick Logan, Matt, and who? Wait, what? Or in this case, it's in the Battle Royal, so you'd be like, get out of here! You know, my pick is Tian Bing. Samoa Jones. And who else? Is Tion Bing in there again this year? Oh god. <laughs> Fuck. Tion <laughs> Bing and Ho Ho Lewis. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> there in there? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Ho Ho Lewis is the company. Yeah, he had to go take care of his mom. Tion right? Bing? I don't even know. I think uh, that's why. Nathan Jones. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's do real picks and then after yeah, let's, do, let's do comedy picks. Okay. Matt Hoop. Matt Hoop. I, uh, I. <laughs> Let's do the let's do the serious ones first. Um, I pick Rob Conway. Which I which I decide. Carmen LeBron. Oh, who wants to look at me? Carmen LeBron wins there. Carmen LeBron. I need home. I'm like the front here. You used to call me on my cell phone. I push you. So good to be back in your picture from the future. Auto host company, not Triple H. Auto host company, Mantar, uh, uh, Fantasio, uh, <laughs> Ace Knuckleball Schwartz, <laughs> Max Moon, Bastion Booker, T.O. Hoppel, the the Boston Bro Brawler, Ring Mouse, Zombie, the Zombie, the Zodiac, <laughs> Kevin Thorne, <laughs> uh, uh, Ariel, <laughs> the Booty Man. Eddie Holder, Dizzy Hogan, me, Ed Stero Hogan. Steroided up Billy Gunn. <laughs> the, the elbow from the man with the name. name. Which is, I just named Ooh. him. I just named Scorpion, him. Scorpion, Scorpion, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Uh, Brutus the Barber Beat Cold 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 gimmicks. Right there. Just Cold the Booty Man was uh, one of his terrible gimmicks. New uh, Jack's going to come in and win the world. Or Battle Royale. And I forget all of it. Uh, Scorpion. <laughs> I think what you mean to say Glacier. 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 <laughs> Mortis. Oh wait a minute, he's dead. That's right. <laughs> he, he's he came in. Uh, Evan Bourne. Evan Bourne, the pothead. Evan Bourne. The Enticing Man Posse. The Man. The Mean Dream Posse. Me. Uh, Congo Kong. Me. Congo Kong. Rob Van Dam at his highest point. Oh, good question. Oh shit. Good question. Yeah. So, Does that mean we're gonna get hold of him because he's like what? Why? 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 still keep themselves aware of what's going on in TNA? Uh, no, I, I don't So care. they just had a really I, awful passing of the torch match between Jimmy Jacobs and Kongo Kong and it's James Mitchell and Abyss and I can't fuck Kong 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 is yes. So I saw that and I was I was like I'm never watching TV again. Kongo yeah. Kong is an like, awful Kong. wrestler. Jimmy Jacobs is very That's Kongo Kong from from fucking Top Rope? No, it's not. What the fuck happened? He used to be good. Jimmy Jacobs is his manager, and he's just so fucking awful. But anyhow, let's do. I'm gonna do my real picks. Okay, yeah, I say this though, James Mitchell coming comments. back and getting on the microphone was freaking amazing because he hasn't lost a step. Yeah, comes back. Oh, he's yeah, all, yeah. Like, there are a lot of me having comedy. John, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy
Fuck, fuck the battle royal. Who cares? No, I have to do my real pick. Yeah, right, say your real pick. Come on. We would say John Bones Jones is gonna win the battle royal. Yes. yes. All right. So let's do our go. Okay. Pick. We'll do our real pick and then our comedy pick. Just, just do so real real pick. Pick. We, we did comedy picks already. Mark Merrill. I'm gonna say for me. I'm gonna say Logan. Fuck off! I gotta go at two thirty. I'm gonna say for me, it'll be Woken Matt Hardy. The ghost of Christopher Columbus? Yes. Oh, for me, I'm gonna say. <laughs> ghost of Christmas, <laughs> man. The ghost of fucking the right. Okay, so, real picks. Woken Matt Hardy and Big Cass. I think Big Cass is gonna return. Big Cass? Yep. <laughs> the big game, yes. That's what I project that. <laughs> I, 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 I project. <laughs> I, I, I predict. I, I predict. I, no, I predict. I get my real pick. I predict D for Do Not Watch. And uh, I predict that the ghost from Christmas past, who was on vacation during last June, is going to win. I <laughs> you know who's going to win. No, they cast will come out. You know what song's going to be? Oh. I know that. I love I love I think think he he my favorite. It's my favorite theme song in all the WWE. You listen to it. It's not a generic theme song you would give to a creative character or anything. You listen to it every day, right? That's what I get bumped to. Dude, I want I want to watch some wrestling. I gotta put a big right, ass. Right, you right. know what I you know what I miss Which here? Which rabbit did say? You, you know what I miss here? Not Enzo. <laughs> Hype bros. <laughs> no, we're about hype. Don't forget Mojo Hi. Hi. Who want to be the hype and bros friends? Have you ever heard his new theme? I'm the oh, I'm going to do the hype and bros. Play it for you. Oh god. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the best songs ever created by WWE. That's well, not shit. generic as fuck or anything. That's literally what it is. <laughs> no lyrics as what it is. That's it. That's literally the whole song. And he comes out the same piece. Funny, funny story about the name of the song and how the song is like has a literally. Like, sure like, so, so, so. <laughs> See, who, this is for right here. Who, who, sure my dad real quick. Up. His gimmick needs to be. Real, not just pictures. Shut up for a second. Who, who, shut up. Who here knows of um, the video game, the fighting game Killer Instinct? Yes. Oh my God. It sounds like Goro's theme from fucking the newest Killer Instinct game. It's so f oh my god. All right, all right, moving on. Uh, yeah, we they have they have not an original bowling yeah, ball. Yeah, we have like the same match for a few minutes. But yeah, I pick Woken Man and Big Cass. All right, can we go to the move? Fucking. So let's get the first ever WrestleMania Women's Battle. All right, the fact this the theme may be like fabulous Moolah. The fabulous woman's battle royal. The fabulous woman's battle royal. Wendy Richter. Also, oh my God. I'm going to say this once. This theme may be like him again. I'm going to say this once, and you're not going to get the image out of your head. The trophy looks like a pair of hands. Yeah, it does. No, it looks awesome. This does. That's, yeah, it's the last one. You said, did, by the way, Steve, did you want the main access thing? I hope it's never on Spotify. What is it? <laughs> you think you can get Big Cats a Steve? Blade slash Nadine, a great Oh, that was even worse. But, Steve, right. what do you think for the WrestleMania? No, wait, yeah. The first ever WrestleMania Women's Battle Award. My pick is the iconic oh, you, duo. You get, so, so both of them? Yep. So either one? Yep. I'm going to pick. The iconic titties. I'm going to pick 
Becky, 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 I'm gonna pick Becky Lynch and Ember Moon. Becky Lynch and Ember Moon. That's so incredibly hard. Turn it off the lock. Alright, you you getting it. Alright, Becky Lynch and Ember Moon. Becky Lynch and Ember Moon. Yeah, it's only three. So I picked Becky Lynch and Ember Moon. Whatever, you get a job, you keep back in the text, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna make it. Alright, who's the way championship match? My pick. Cedric fucking Alexander! Yes, that's his name. Um, yeah, well, obviously I'm giving the women's battle royal because you did not watch. This is a match I'm wanting, so I will predict. Um, I am gonna pick Cedric. The Sandster. Cedric. Steve, who are you picking? Cedric. 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 Either way, we're getting a great match. Yeah, because it's two great wrestlers competing against each other. Yeah. Although I'm sad that they won't have this. Uh, Colonel Mustafa Ali. He, he was the shining star. At the same time, though, you're getting a hell of a match. You are. Colonel Mustafa Ali versus Cedric Mankin and Alexander. Alexandra. Sure. Yeah. Alexandra. Alexandria. Alexandria. Hey, you, know, you ever think he goes and stops to himself and be like, hey, what's you, up, Alexander? Did you know uh, He's asking uh, Alexander a question. Because you have a reference to this. Because I didn't want to like, I used to call him, I remember I always called him Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> alright, alright. All right. The mat, the mat's be really, really. He's getting everywhere. Here, I'll take the box. I'll take the box. You're getting icing all over your shirt. It looks like you just came. Hard to come all over your fucking self. Oh, I love both the rest of rundown. Oh, it's always going to be cute. Dot <laughs> <laughs> com. Alright, let's, uh. What the fuck wild animal just decided to come into here? Alright. <clears throat> a main card. No, I'm not gonna... doing it. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Hey! Fuck off! Fuck off! You asshole! He's out. He'll be okay. He's going to go home. I kind of can't. I'm kind of. Can you not do that? What was the answer? No, 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 oh, yeah. Steve, don't no, 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 don't fall no, 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 Oh yeah, my friend thought, stole my shoe. I thought you say how do I get out of the cock, so I was like, wait a minute. I just, wait, well, I did get out of the cock, so I might have like my shirt. Just <laughs> water in the cocks. Yeah. Yeah. Order in the court, order in the court. Bring the dancing lap sister. Right yeah. Fuck! I'm out. Nope. 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 You took the extreme one away from every possible. I feel like I'm a pain. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. What is it? No, uh, one last time we did the show. Yeah, the teacher over there came and threatened us twice. Let's go on. Let's try to get some predictions. Let's try to get some predictions. He's gone. Yes, let's do it. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens. Brian, the American Brian. All right, I'm back. So this is if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn win, they will be behind the SmackDown. But if they lose, oh, I'm picking Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Same. I'm gonna say Daniel Bryan and Shane win, and during the Superstar Shakeup, Owens and Zayn will go to Raw. Exactly. I am. I'm gonna go get the chicken. Um, Daniel Bryan. And Shano McMahon. And he has a Shano So then don't get with him then. I'm gonna get the chicken. So wait a minute. We just wasted all that time talking about it. I'm saying what we can possibly have. I can't think of that it's still in front of if there's going to be more smart and they really want to work for Sangley and Bruiser, you know, and get it. Get the chip. Leave that. Don't look so, fat, man. Yeah, it's too much well-known information at this point that despite the two of these, I'm going to get a bummer right behind you. Yeah. Truffle shuffle? What they should do is they should contact Carl Wayne. That's the food, by the way. It's not the food. On Saturday night, they say, hey, since in story, Kevin and Sammy are fired. How about they show up at our weights as did Erico and Steam and poop all over the place for one night only to take a huge shit in the they middle of the room. They poop for one night. They poop for one night only. <laughs> That's your. You know, now they have to clean it up for one night only. <laughs> that that makes that 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 they just that smear their the shit all over all over the room with their hands just for one night only. <laughs> one night. They're just sitting there just like moving this shit around like. That was your 
Then you have to clean that. Now we have the mix. So who that has was just in the mix. Well, mix one day I know the play of two. But the mix tag. Maybe they. Mix tag team. And if you didn't hear already, Kirk Brown one night on. Alright, Kirk Ronda versus Triple H. I'm picking Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey angle. Yeah, Ronda or Rousey oh, is an angle. angle. But I'll be honest, I wouldn't be shocked just because. Uh, it's a better hurt than I've seen in my life. No, because Vince McMahon doesn't want to go to the competition. Some good shit. Yeah. Is it for one night only? The only real competition that does that. Huh? I said UFC is the only real competition. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I was gonna say UFC just basically lost to NXT this whole week because Ferguson got injured, then Holloway got injured, so oh, now Megan moved up needs another opponent, and Conor McGregor's in jail. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fucking James up in a prison. Because he right. tried to he tried, he tried, to, tried to, to fucking kill people. He, he tried, tried to beat up Megan Mundo last so night. So we're all taking code and yeah, Mondo. The only thing I hate about this is they oh kind of got away from the footage of the late story. Yeah, was Connor was right around. It did, but it was kind of intertwined. Yeah, yeah, I think so, that. Yeah. I don't think this is over either. Because it's it's that would be the funniest. Yeah. That would be nuts. Vince bails Connor McGregor out of jail and he has to show up in the media. That would be a fucking great. That would be great. He's forced him. Next, we have the triple threat match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. We have to call it Cole. The SmackDown Championship Tag Team. <laughs> Alright, so it's the Usos versus the New Day versus the Bludgeon. Yeah, we don't know which two members of the New Day yet, though. We don't know which two members of the Usos either. The, there's only two oh, members. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we also don't know if it's going to be Luke Harper. No, we're going to have a. Uh, you know, you know what? It's going to be maybe Luke Harper or Luke Harper. No, it and also Luke could Harper. be. No, you know who it will be. We don't know if it will be T.L. Hall, but we don't. <laughs> Who's oh, the mask? Who, which one's so technically injured? Jimmy, right? What do you mean? I, I think it's Jay. It's Jay. Jay. Oh, storyline wise. Story yeah, yeah, so Jay. Jimmy Uso will be teaming up with his other brother from another mother, Sean Maluda. <laughs> Sean Maluda and Jimmy Uso with Kofi Kingston and Big E and Kofi sailed up enough. Or maybe they can get Apollo Crews in there since he's or, not Apollo enough right now. Or and he can become Bludgeon Brothers. He can become Apollo Uso. Who's Apollo Crews? It's just Apollo. Or you can become Apollo Uso. Or they just came up with Tamina because Tamina is a man. Technically. But she's right now. So she's she's, she's the grumpy old troll who lives under the bridge. So <laughs> right here. She's uh, better looking than you picking uh, for the SmackDown. She, Amazon, Amazon, though. Though. She, she actually looks like more of a woman than she had been with us, though. That's true. Then we have um, the, a Wad Tag Team Championship match between The Ba and Blonde Showman and TV. TBD and Braun Strowman. Yeah. Braun and Brains versus Cesaro and Campus. I was say Strowman. I was actually really pissed about that. Yeah. I really wanted to see, but I, I guess like the the added suspense of who's gonna be his tag team partner actually is kind of intriguing. So who do you think will be his partner? Rey Mysterio. Okay. Oh. Junior or senior? <laughs> his junior, junior, seventy-five year old uncle. Junior, oh, junior. What's, the, what's the name of a? Uh, that movie that like Wayne Mysterio is in. It's going to be WrestleManiac. WrestleManiac. Yeah. It's what's the name of that movie? It's with this WrestleManiac. Yeah. With fucking um. I give it. A, I give it. A a I watched that review the other day because our friend. My prediction is this. Yeah. It's so watch. fucking funny. It's so stupid. It's gonna be. It's Rey Mysterio, John Lynch. Ah. It's and either gonna be Rey or Bray Wyatt. If not, it's gonna be totally out of left field. Remember, Dominic is not Rey's son. Yeah. Eddie's. What if Eddie came back from the dead and teamed with him? Oh, Samoa Joe. Joe? That's yeah, the big show. Too. But at the same time, he's going to team with Roman after WrestleMania. Big show. Show. big show. Big show, that's another one, too. I would say I could see it. Eli Eli he's in ridiculous shape. Yeah. A lot of people are saying Elias, but nah. Nah, I don't see Elias. Jason, nah. <laughs> I don't see Elias or Kirk Hawkins. Oh, my God. Speaking of that, imagine the anger of that crowd if Jason Bourne walked out. No, you know what they should do? They should I don't have, think he's ready yet. They like, should have Jordan walk out, but he's not the partner. He just doesn't piss everybody off. And then Strowman is just like, what the hell are you doing out here? I don't think he's physically ready yet. He's just so, that, that Honestly, still, like, he just had neck surgery not yeah, long ago. That would still be awesome if they had him come out thinking it is going to be Jason Jordan. You're still on Strowman? Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, even though it was like minimally based on the Who do you think would be Blonde Strowman's tag team hot? Uh, Jason did not watch. You don't watch this? You watch that? I'm not watching it. Why? No, it's not Why? Why? Because I think Braun Strowman should be in the main event and not enough stupid fucking tag team. This is still on the fucking card. 
and in a good fucking season. Yeah. Just but believe it on the streets actually really good. Not really. Yeah. So obviously, since we just talked about I mean, a overcooked chicken. Since we just talked about a lot of things, that's what I'm doing with my top on right now. You're gonna get disappointed. Hey, hold on. Pull those fucking pants down, young man. You're about, Whoa! To, get, you're about to get you're about to get fucking paddled. Yeah. I ain't getting paddled with no fucking tomahawk gun, do I quit? You quit? <laughs> get those pants I will down. quit in the wrestling run that if you even do that what you said. Oh, oh yeah, up and down the crack. And you can't get the I don't even want the chicken down your spot. Up and down that booty hole. So, so a stinger thick, sir. Now we have to talk about another matter at the end. Um Elias' performance, we know he's doing some sort of performance Oh, I know it's gonna happen. He's gonna do a big thing. Well, is not a being your WrestleMania. That's what I think of this match. I give it one crumb out of 15 crumbs. I thought you were going to do the other one. I thought you were going to say Jeff, right? That would be close. I didn't know Jeff. Oh, yeah, yeah. J A J A F F. Jeff Jeff Jarrett. Look at that. J E double F. When he was doing the Jarrett, he was going to do Jeff. That's not how he spoke it. I was about to say Jerry Jerry. Wait a second. Jerry Jerry. We're gonna raid Brandon. We're calling Jerry Jerry. Jerry Jerry. Jerry Jerry Jack Jerry Jerry. Jack Jerry. Jack Jerry. Yeah, I think I agree with you. I think I'll be Jeff Jerry. Yeah, he's gonna smash Elias with the guitar. Get to go find the clock guy. Oh, that'd be fucking stupid. No, that'd be awesome. Fuck off. Let me fucking do it. I'm gonna go TRS. Fuck Jeff. Fuck OTRS. Are they gonna do it the right way? Fuck them. Are they gonna do it the pussy way off the bat? I'm gonna give it to TRS. What's that? Fuck them. Fuck them. You probably have a vagina. Alright. No, actually. He doesn't enjoy it. He's married. Well, he's got a vagina. He's actually not married. Yeah, he's not married. Yeah, he's not married. Yeah, he's not married. wasn't appearing at WrestleMania, but I highly doubt that because he's been trying not to get WrestleMania. Yeah. So I could see it because he said that at 31, but he did that now. He still showed up. Yeah. Movie, so I wouldn't know that he's still. It wasn't gonna happen. Even if it's like a segment or a, te- a beat down from like, so I think or like, like a three second match, they just show up and cry. So did you guys see what happened last night? Did you guys see what happened last night? Do you know what Spirits on Bourbon is? No. Do you watch Bar Rescue? No. All right. So, Spirits on Bourbon is the first bar John Happer rescued. It's on Bourbon Street. It's the most successful one I've ever done. Oh, I still a live concert. I saw the live. I missed it. I I didn't watch it yet, but I saw they did it there. Oh, I I would not be surprised if the last turned space after the end of this year. Yeah, because he's got words next to the phone. But that how does his gimmick work though? That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. He does it all. He thinks his music it's music great. No one else does. You don't you know it's way no, but he's no, 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 he loves it. No, Graves loves it. Cole hates it. No. It was the other way around. The other way around. So, fans no. no. No, no, no. I think, I think there are videos loves. of him at Final Fantasy doing an actual song. Uh, it does, does, does it matter? Yes, because he's saying Wonderwall once. It was actually pretty good. Can we, can we, can we, can we move my back? Can we Next match is the SmackDown Women's Championship match. No, it's actually no. I gotta be afraid that. Streak versus title match. Charlotte Flair's SmackDown Women's Championship versus Oscar. Streaking. I am watching this. Um, they're streaking. Um, I'm picking Oscar. 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 Who are you picking? Oscar. 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 Oscar.
but it's not going to be about SmackDown next year. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It'd be interesting if it was like yeah, if Carmella cashed in on Ron Lost. Because be technically, I know like uh, it was only SmackDown. I'd, I'd laugh. I'd be like, oh, I told you she sucks. I told you she's still hot. No. I, so let's talk about the next. So yeah, you should ask her, right? So yo, yeah, everyone's in. Yeah, she still sucks. Happy. Um. That's how you. So then we have the Law Woman title match. It's like the match I have no okay, interest in at all. So Alexa Bliss goes to Nia Jax. Right, I'm actually really excited for this match. I know, I, 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 I like the story. I uh, didn't hear what I've been saying. They can build Nia Jax as a huge face. See, the one thing I don't agree with is she's crying. No, I don't. I don't, I don't that's, think, that's, that's I don't think she needs to cry. I don't think she needs to cry. Just because she's crying? It's dumb. It's because she's supposed to be not. like this monster, and they're like. <laughs> See, the one thing I don't like is that she cries. That's the only so thing. I, it's been a good. It's been a good build, but at the same time, this should make Alexa supposed to be angry and not. This should make not yeah. look angry, but not make her fucking cry. Because imagine, because imagine if Braun did that, he'd be like dead. See, on like they're trying to make her like Braun Strowman, but at the same time. Ron doesn't cry. Yeah. So she, she should be crying. Now here's the thing. They should, really, that's what they did with Kane. They fucking humanized him. Yeah. And they're going to ruin the Kane gimmick. I'm conflicted with what's going to happen. Whether or not uh, Nia Jax is going to win. I think Nia is going to win. I think, I think, I think it's going to be. Then that came up to Corporate Kane, where Corporate Kane then was Jimmy Kane and Corporate Kane. And it was funny. So well, the they, day, they, it was some good that came They out. humanized Kane. Before, before that, that. Even before that. Way, like, late 90s. Like, when, yeah. when he started talking. Yeah. I Without think, the voice box. Right, so what's everybody you should have talked like you talked uh, before. You have to go like, if, I feel like if they James just not start talking, you've been silent. Yeah. Naya or... No, D, but did, he's doing D for did not watch. He's okay. doing D for did. Yeah, I'll do D for uh, Naya. 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 As much as I love well, Eliza, well, I, I don't like the voice. I should get eight. I, I should get an eight up you for a little watch. I gotta go with the logical one is that... Um, First of all, Lex held the championship for a long ass fucking time and she had to lose it eventually. Yeah. I want to say, because um, who, who does Alexa face after this? She's faced everyone. She's faced everyone. Um, the, the right thing to do is for her to go face. Well, yeah. I, think they, I think that they butchered this to the point where she can't, I mean, it's she really can't go face. Yeah. The thing that's making me conflicted though is Alexa could like, you know, get a cheap win. Because she's like, if you think of it, but it's like, the next time I'm off from Ella, she was like, that's yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. that's, that's what keeps me conflicted on. Yeah. See, the thing is, too, I'm gonna this, say, uh, this match right here is like Big Show versus Rey Mysterio in the structure match. Kind of like that build-up where it's the little the little person against the big giant. Except, the Except for it shouldn't. Would it make sense if Big Show to put the baby beats and Rey Mysterio then the heel on the oh. match? No, it wouldn't. So the logic behind this match makes that's no little. sense because Alexa as... Five feet tall, five foot one, she should be the face. And Nia Jackson, six foot three, four, she should be the heel. It's just it just doesn't make any sense why Nia is the, the face and Alexa the heel. Also, it really I, make any sense. I never forgot about this. Nia we are stubborn, Chris. That's and another thing. Nia turned on Alexa like yep. back in the summer. I mean, and and randomly maybe being being a heel, even though it didn't make any sense. It's so this, this storyline has a lot of messes with well, it. So. Here's my theory. Yeah. I have Way a theory people want Mickey to turn back to Alexa, and it's going to sound really stupid, but then you're going to realize it happened before. Lesbian lovers. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly yes, it. Yes, please. After WrestleMania, I have to the possibility that, you know, Alexa's going to say, thanks for being such a good friend, and make her like, yeah. But it's the mistletoe. More than that. Yeah, it's the mistletoe. That could be it, yeah. Or and then at WrestleMania, they can do yeah. How I would put it? Oh, look. I'm doing the Big, bad, I'm doing the big Daddy Beat thing. Even though I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I think I can. All right, so I feel like this. So I can't do it. Yes. Yeah, so. hey, look. Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that was, they cut that from everything. You can't see that anywhere now. Oh, rest of the way they do. Yeah, you have a specific oh. look for it. Bam. Oh. Actually, Trisha actually did it at the Rumble. Yeah. They confronted each other and she did this. Yeah, but you couldn't see it. Alright, but my, I didn't and way back it. then, I was like, "What the hell?" Was, I don't know what she was doing. I Later know, on, I was like, "Oh shit, that was your pussy." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, my pick though is uh, Nia Jax wins. She gets beat down by Bliss and James, and yeah. Carmella cashes in on Nia. So I, I think that would be a thing, because then you can. 
Because basically, if you maybe have basically the book, book, the book, the book I don't want to win with Cub Mallard because they can't have a cash in on SmackDown because that fucks up the Oscar match. And they can't have a, I thought they can't also. The WWE saw that they probably do that. Yeah. Like, I'm saying no cash in, but like, there's a yeah. 95% chance he's going to cash in Oscar and win. Yeah. Or. There's also like, another thing. Sharp. That, that Cub Mallard also can't cash in and lose because he's held it all these many months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The best, no, the, and, cause, and it never specifically said she has to challenge for the SmackDown Yeah, so it gets any championship she wants at any time. Yeah. So probably she hasn't cashed it in yet. Yeah. She's the attempted. The more she, the more they fake attempt, I think that's not, that she's going to lose. Yeah. The more that I think of it, like, how many fake, like, how many, like, You know why? Because she gave it to the wrong person. I'm sorry. Everyone wants to say that Carmella should do it. Carmella should do it. She should actually be good. I no, like, she's going to suck. I like she's the not fact, fucking good. I like the fact that they give it to a heel, but it's like she makes no fucking it's, sense. It's, it's like the more it goes along now with the amount of failed cash in attempts, makes me think that she's gonna cash in. Should have been Becky or or somebody or somebody else. My it issue never should have been Carmella personally is or, I look at Nikki and Bert, right? They're Oh, like you can you can yeah. say they've come along way, but you know, comparatively to everyone else on the roster, they're okay. Yeah. yeah but obviously. what I liked about them is, you know, they use that okayness because they're. But I don't pick. I, the funny thing is, I don't pick. They really. I would have picked Nikki Bella over yeah. fucking Carmella. And they just cheated every match because that was just their style. They couldn't yeah. wrestle. They couldn't keep up the speed, so they cheated to win. Hey, I pissed me off. That's yeah. they got the job done. They worked. Here's the problem with Carmella is she doesn't do that. She actually tries to wrestle. Yeah. She doesn't do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's also, uh, she lost her heat magazine, James Ellsworth, too. Yeah. yeah. That was like the biggest thing there. I this, the, all right. Fucking in the fucking. But still, that, that had that even, even, but even, like, even with that, they, 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 ruined, they really ruined the woman's by the bank match by doing that. It's not like to get heat, they legitimately ruined Why the do you first think they're not doing this? this? Why do you think they're not doing this? Like, that match was completely ruined by James Ellsworth. Literally. Yeah. And they I realized that they say that we gotta change it. Is, it has come down to the point where even the match had been captured and wins a belt. That money in the bank was a few. Pay per view entirely was their intention. It was fucking pointless. Their intention was perfect, perfect now. Was for both of them to get they have to do a hell of a job. They really fucked up shit again this year. They fucked because up, they fucked up so much. Because they had very poor with Lucy, and now Cobb Bell, even if she went to Lucy, she's not going to back. Just like the it became the bad boy. Yeah, it's exactly what it was. 2017. Also, uh, other than Battleground, which was also very useless. But uh, James, I basically just said it. Um, you also can have the first woman's money in the bank contract over to fail to cash in because then it's, it means nothing. Yeah. You just basically never should never. That would be like, like um. The way, that would be like, like they put themselves into a fucking corner because they don't remember. Edge won the first one, right? Yes. So they did edge cashing and failing. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't make any sense for the first time ever. No, been, well, no. It would have been like, like Seth Rollins cashed in at WrestleMania 31. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. they, they picked Carmella for what? Like, they picked the worst person to win that. It yeah. should have been either Becky Lynch or Natalia. It should have been, been Lana it for the worst choice. Yeah, yeah no. Like, no Carmella is the second worst. Don't get me wrong. She ain't the worst, but she is one of the worst people to pick for that. It, it, make, it makes no sense at the end of the day. Especially considering the fact, like you said, he had. The man won it. Yeah, and then it had to, they had to redo the match again, and then Carmella still won it. See, the thing is, I think they realized they fucked up. Instead of trying to create heel for, heel heat for Carmella, I think they realized they fucked up. Kind of how they fucked up with the Moolah Battle Royal. And they hated the Moolah Battle Royal for some godly reason. Instead of like naming it as like a Sherry. Like, uh, Y2J. He said that, that it should have been called the Sherry Invitational. Sensational, the sensational Invitational. That's what it should have been called. Like it's what it should have been called. I mean, she was a pioneer. She wasn't a whore. She wasn't a slut. She was like she she was the she was the epitome of women's wrestling. She and actually, actually you want to wrestle. But then yeah, was another, she was and I said that and I've said this before and I'll say it and I'll say it a hundred times again. Nice job fucking pre-showing this before it even made the, before it even had the chance That's basically why it's show. It's basically you because fucking it's fucking retard. Who? They got away from it quick. You have yeah. how many how many human resources people are in this fucking company? Not one of you looking on the fucking internet daily thought this thought this was a bad idea. Are you all fucking retarded? Every one of you should be fucking fired. Seriously, if I was running the company and I had no they idea about what was past, possibly like Vince did. I, I, I don't even blame Vince here because he probably didn't know of Moolah's past, never knew about Moolah's past because no, he was he always... Did. Well then, at the end of the day, then I blame fucking Vince. I blame Vince and I blame that fucking PR 
We are stunting. Yeah. Retards. I also All wanna, of you. I also want to say this. The same thing goes glass, but you can't have the first ever women's white walk with a got with a championship. Oh, right? yeah. It's it's too. And that I say, can't lose a streak right now. It's too early for that. Yeah. So yeah. Well, given the rumor of next. All right. Now let's get. Now let's get to the last. Let's go. Let's go on a, on a speed run. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. We have the U.S. title match: Randy Orton versus Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal versus Rusev. Yeah. Fuck it. Rusev. Rusev. I'm Rusev. 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 Don't you because guess what? It's Rusev Day! I was, I must scream that a lot of my energy. So, 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 so here's, here's what I'm watch. getting. Here's what I'm getting. You won't watch it? Well, James is going D for Does Not Watch. Uh -huh. We're going R. So he's just going, he's just going uh -huh. D for Don't Watch. We're going R D for Rusev Day. Yeah. Rusev Day, baby. I like, no, I, I, I'm saying W. I like Chris. Watch. Chris, uh, Miz, Rollins, or Balor for the IC title. That's how I'm actually watching. Uh, Ron, I'm not even with the Geo Jeff back. I'm running that time. Um, Seth Rollins. Okay. So. Uh, I think, uh, I don't think Seth needs, I think Finn needs to win the most. Because yeah. if, if he's going to be Demon, he needs to win. He's got to win. I want the man who possesses the stomp to win. Just yeah, the stomp now, man. AJ Styles versus. I got a match I'll be watching. See, uh, I'm I don't Shinsuke. know yeah. for this match because I want both. I want both to win the WWE Championship. So I, 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 I probably would go with retaining, even though that's probably going to be fun. Might be Shinsuke, but I'm going to go retaining. Okay. Shinsuke. 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 A lot of people don't like, I haven't liked this bill. I, I like the bill. I like it. I like it. I, I mean, it's been. It's been I, have, I haven't watched it. I like when they did the, really the past. I mean, it's been next up, but the past two weeks have been really good. I think, I think the build-up was going by AJ. Hey, hey, hey. uh, See? The three years, the thing with Shinsuke, that's all the thing with Shinsuke is, it finally took the fucking mouth gun out of his mouth. Yeah. You can actually understand what he's saying now. Yeah. I love the build-up the last two weeks in this match, though. Yeah. Because uh, not this Tuesday, but last Tuesday, Shinsuke goes yeah, to the Kinshasa and stops and goes knee to face and then pats on his, pats him on the head. Styles did the same thing. Styles the same exact thing with a phenomenal, phenomenal forearm, yeah. but stop short and pat him and pat him on the head. So, so I loved it. It was great. It was awesome. Yeah. Also, oh, another thing is uh, my friend said a really funny thing. He goes, "Oh, I can now understand suitcase. I'm going to pick up the mouth guard." Go. My name's not Shinsuke Nakamura. My name is Juan Ming. <laughs> I'm going to Jack and I from the Big Dynasty. Oh, <laughs> so that's perfect. I was like, I get the bill from the Big Dynasty back in China. I don't give a shit. Oh, hold on. You could make the argument that the bill was Hold on, hold on. Next match, next match, next match. It's still a good bill. Roman Reigns is put in the main event. Roman Reigns, yes. Yeah. What? Guess what? W for will not fucking watch. So WF? Yeah. W L yeah. W L Yeah. So um. That's four words. So, 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 so Steve, what are you gonna do if uh you lose at takeover? At takeover. What happens if Roman loses? We're you still get a ten care problem. He, he, he hired us. Like you were a rock band that night. He hired us. Just John. No. I'm not gonna let you down. But that, by the way. I doubt John is gonna just suspend us. I was. I, I, I I'm disappointed in you. I was disappointed. Hey, I was a kid back then. You just said you you turned your back. I'm just I'm saying that night. You tried being in a crowd of multiple I people wearing a Celtic shirt. I would have. I, I made it worse for myself. I wasn't wearing a Cena shirt. I was wearing a Paul Pierce jersey. I would have been there revving it proudly. I still remember uh, Kane never rectified that win. That, that win. Kane never rectified that win. We're going on two years now. <laughs> Kane never rectified that victory. If he becomes a mayor of Knoxville, he rectifies the victory. I get to play There's no, no erections allowed. But then it, so what are you gonna do if you lose a takeover? Pee in a toilet. Over. Yeah. And poop in that same toilet. <laughs> so lose a takeover. I'm gonna go drink my sodas awake and say I'm on Bourbon Street. Drink your pee. I get. How All that, right. How is well, that a punishment? I'm gonna punish you. Drink your Oh, beer. you guys want to implement my punishment idea now? Okay. Well, there's the right thing now. All right. Drink your own pee. Punishments aren't for the punishment champions. Punishment Martinez. Against. See, the way we do it is everybody comes I, I don't care. I'm, I'm not watching any. I'm watching any. Champions are just doing it for a championship. Everybody else does it to just not lose because whoever loses gets the punishment. But because you're not participating, you're not going to be punished. 
So, uh, so wait. So I'm not even. It's not. I'm not even in the max. So I take over. So I take over. So I take over. Should we fight uh, for? And it's like if James wants to predict the takeover against Chris, then we can implement the punishment where someone has to drink a shot of hot sauce. No. No. It's not happening. Not, yet. not doing it. Fine, I know what you're fucking gonna say. The hot sauce is. I'm not doing it. You've been saying this for two years now. Not doing it. What are we gonna do? After us, starting after WrestleMania on the wrestling rundown, at the first pay per view, it'll be a championship match as well as a punishment match. Where the loser punishment, punishment Martinez match. match. Yes, a punishment Martinez match. Where the loser. Yes, we'll go out of the apron by punishment Martinez. Where the loser will be put in a poop and a pee match. Through a table. Ah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. But you know, I'll lose purpose. Wait, how are we gonna put him to a table? <laughs> exactly! You're all fucked! That's 285 pounds of pure fat. There's a gym right over there. Figure it a out. A gym? A J I M? Yes. <laughs> Where Mr. Able Stretching Cream himself hangs out at the end. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could just shave my head. Should I still have the step where if I lose Sunday, I have to shave my head bald? Hey, sure. I'm not going to see you once, so don't worry about it. Huh? Anyway, I'm not going to see you again. Wait, I got to come up a show. WYW episode 2 is coming out for. Bye, Rocky. people. Bye, uh, Chris. Do you get to promote, promote stuff? Promote. <laughs> stuff. Promote stuff. I should really watch. Make I'm sure just going to end the show by doing my Roddy Piper impersonation from when I'm taken to Owen. Hey, 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 you fucking Nazi, how are you? Oh, yeah, that's a whole bunch.